last week, the Mountaineer offense finally got on track as Brad Lewis and the rest of his mates played their best game of the season. It couldn't have happened at a better time as West Virginia heads to College Park to face a rejuvenated Maryland team. First-year coach Ralph Friedgen has his team believing they can win. And with the nation's leading rusher in Bruce Perry and a relentless defense, the Terps are off to a 3-0 start. For the Mountaineers, it's the first of a four-game gauntlet that could define their season. It's West Virginia, Maryland, next on MSN. The great clouds have, for right now, started to hide the sunshine, which had been beaming brightly earlier on as we welcome you back inside Bird Stadium, right dead smack in the middle of the campus of the University of Maryland. I'm Tony Caridi, along with White Wallace, Woody O'Hara, Hoppy Kerchival is with us, and our entire Mountaineer Sports Network crew. Today's captains for West Virginia, O'Rondi Cox, David Upchurch, and Antonio Brown. They're joined out there by West Virginia's designated coin snap captain, our buddy Kyle Caden. The two teams going out to midfield for the game's opening coin toss. The tail of the tape in this one, West Virginia comes in averaging 21 points per game. Maryland is scoring 33 points per game. Yardage, West Virginia with 389 per outing. Maryland at 414. Defensively, the Terps giving up just 10 points per game. West Virginia allowing 17 points per game. West Virginia has won the game's opening coin toss. They have deferred their option to the second half. And so the Maryland Terrapins will now have their pick. Our referee this afternoon is Gene Steratore. Gene was uh, already busy this week. Back on Thursday night, he officiated the game between Miami and the Pitt Panthers. Gene Steratore is a, uh, oh, he's a, he comes from a line of officials. His dad, of course, Gene Steratore Sr., a longtime football official and basketball official. And in fact, another of Gene's sons is an official in the National Football League, so well represented. The head coach of the Mountaineers, Rich Rodriguez, takes his team out onto the road for just the second time this season. Of course, the Mountaineers opened at Boston College and the Mountaineers came up on the short end of that one. For the head coach of Maryland, Ralph Friedgen, in his first season coaching his alma mater, things have gone very well. They are 3-0 on the season, 2-0 already, and the ACC wins over North Carolina and Wake Forest in their conference. A week ago, they were down in North Carolina, and they knocked off the Demon Deacons in a pretty good football game. So West Virginia will kick the football off. The Mountaineers clad in their white jerseys with the blue numerals and those very bright gold pants. For the University of Maryland, they've got their home blood red uniforms on, white numerals and white pants. Todd James will handle the kickoff for West Virginia. James has had a good, productive season, uh, Dwight. Struggled it a little bit in that opening half against Boston College, but since then, he's been booming that ball. Yeah, this is uh, Maryland's best special team. I think they're all pretty good. This is their best one, so I think our guys are fired up. We could see some collisions right here off the bat. James has the ball on the tee. He's going to be kicking it into a win. The ball will travel from our right to left. James approaches the football. We are underway from Bird Stadium. James's kickoff will be taken from the goal line, and Rich Carson takes it up. He's to the 10, looking for a hole. He's got one over the 15, the 20, and he's ahead to the 22-yard line, brought down by Rick Sherrod. So a 22-yard return for Rich Carson, a junior out of Newark, Delaware, and that's where the Terrapins will start. First down and 10 from their 22-yard line. The quarterback, a senior from Parsons, Kansas, is Sean Hill. His second year at Maryland, he came in via the junior college route from Hutchison Community College in Kansas. Maryland opens the game with a double tight end formation. A lone setback is Bruce Perry, receivers to each side. Hill under center, barking out the signal, dropping the throw. Three-step drop pass is going to be caught over the 25, ahead of the 27 by Julian Gary. A four-yard game will make it second down and six. Julian Gary, one of the top receivers, Jeff Dugan's the big tight end. Bruce Perry is the tailback that leads the nation in rushing, averaging 175 yards per game. The offensive line, the best player out there, well, Melvin Fowler and Todd White, the center, and the left guard. Now on second down and six, operating from the 27-yard line. 
four receivers in the formation, two to each side. And Hill fires the throw, pass is caught over the middle, over the 35, ahead to the 36. Jafar Williams picks up 10 on the play as he is knocked down by Brian King. That time they put twin receivers to each side, throw into the left side, the inside receiver there, Williams, cut across on a little three-step drop, brought the ball down, and then was brought to the turf. First down and 10 for the Turps from their 37-yard line. Same formation, twins to each side. Perry, the lone tailback. Again, they want to throw. Firing a deep ball downfield. Pass is incomplete at the West Virginia 40. Looking that time for Julian Gary and the coverage by Richard Bryant. Now, Dwight, coming into the game, you said, I think they're going to pick on Richard Bryant. That time they got man-on-man -man coverage, and they went right after him. Yeah, they did. They really like to uh, run the inside receiver up the seam and then just leave the outside receiver one-on-one -on -one with the corner just to see if you can cover. I didn't know who they'd pick on, but I thought we'd find out real early, and they did take a look at Richard. Third straight play now that they've got twins to each side. It's second down and 10 for the Maryland 37. Hill dropping again to throw. Firing pass is broken up and incomplete, and Brian King nearly had an interception at the Maryland 47-yard line. Scooter Monroe, the intended receiver, but it was Brian King, a Maryland native from nearby Damascus, who had the best chance at catching that football. Boy, that was a badly communicated route that time. Yeah, I'll tell you, Tony, we started out defensively up in that eight-man front, and we forced them to check several times. Now, the last time, six in the box, but they're sticking with the pass. He's doing a lot of talking at the line of scrimmage for Maryland. Third down and 10 for the Maryland 37. Shotgun formation. Back goes Hill to throw. Has time. Fires over the middle. Pass incomplete. Intended for Julian Gary. It was Brian King there again, breaking it up at the West Virginia 48 yard line the Mountaineers will force the Terrapins into a punt that was five plays in a row by Maryland and they threw all five of those plays yeah a lot of them off check but Brian did a nice job breaking that up by stripping the ball too ball was thrown a little behind him they've got an excellent punter he's back his name is Brooks Bernard considered the best in the ACC snap is back to him Bernard gets it away high sailing kick Lance Frazier approaches the football lets it take a bounce and he'll let it go, rolling inside the 20, inside the 15 to the 13-yard line. That's a 50-yard punt, including the bounce. And West Virginia will have it first down and 10 from its 13-yard line as we will get a look at the Mountaineer offense, captained by Brad Lewis this afternoon. Uh, I think that win's a problem, Tony. He really had a hard time... Uh uh, with that punt, and so he just kind of stayed away from it. It did land short, got caught up in the wind, really stopped short. He's a very wise decision staying away. Spot the ball, here we go. First down and 10. Twins to the left, single receiver to the right. Coburn's alone setback, and they're going to hand the ball up. Avon, he's got a hole. Avon to the 20. Over the 20 to the 21 yard line. That's an eight yard gain for Avon Coburn as he took it right into the interior of the Maryland defense. Big hole, really well blocked. And again, occasionally, Maryland tends to get two guys in a gap. So I think if we keep pecking in there, we'll get some big plays off the run. West Virginia, straight eye formation. Conventional snap from center. Tight end to the left. Single receiver, Terry to the left. Here's the snap. Toss sweep play. Goes to Avon. Turning the corner on the right side. He's got a first down as he's bulldog over the 25-yard line in front of the Mountaineer bench. That's a four-yard pickup. Free safety, Randell Jones. Karome Cox, the cornerback, corralled Avon Coburn. The Mountaineers have their first first down with exactly 13 minutes to play in our scoreless opening quarter. That was the uh, toss play that they tried to stretch that, but they really want to run it up inside the tackle. And that time, uh, Avon was able to bounce it outside, get the first. First and 10 from the 25, twins to each side. Out of the gun, here comes pressure by Maryland. Brad drops, Brad throws wide open. Here's little guy, Avon Coburn, ahead over the 30, to the 35, and a West Virginia first down. Very good versus blitz. They brought two linebackers inside. They like to bring the one the, the one linebacker to the front side will go through the guard center gap, but bring the linebacker from the back side up through the guard tackle gap and trying to scrape one of those off on the other. Well done up front, picked it up, and Brad did a nice job getting the ball early to the flat. Eighth catch of the season for Avon. He checks out of the lineup. Quincy Wilson has come in. West Virginia triple receivers left, single receiver right. Quincy's back there along with Lewis out of the gun. Here's the snap. Brad rolling to his left. Looking. Pressure comes. He fires the ball. It's deflected and incomplete. Off the fingertips that time of linebacker E.J. Henderson. And it was up there for grabs 
for just a moment, but it falls to the turf here. It will be second down and 10. Intended receiver was Antonio Brown. That time, Dwight, they came with the pressure, and Brad had to get that ball out of there quickly. Yeah, actually, he rolled, and then they kind of came off a block late. But I think, really, Tony, to that trip, it looks like it'd be pretty good. Trip to one side, single receiver backside. They got a lot of folks out of there. That might end up being a good uh, running set for us. We'll keep an eye on it. Now it's second and 10 for the Mountaineers from their 35. Twins left, single receiver right. Here's Brad again rolling to his left. Looks, fires, pass caught. Phil Braxton, he is hit at the 40-yard line and driven back. That is a five-yard pickup for Braxton, the junior from Vanderbilt, Pennsylvania. O'Connell on the cornerback, and the linebacker, E.J. Henderson, makes the wrap and throw down of Phil Braxton. It'll be third down and five. Again, rolling to the twins, and we saw two hitches, just two five-yard hitches, and uh, he read the underneath flat man and, and took, the, took the outside receiver. Third down and five facing West Virginia. Twin receivers to each side. Wide side of the field is to the right. Coburn's back into the game. Here's the snap back to Lewis. He looks. He's going to run. He's going to have the first down over the 45 to the Maryland 48-yard line where he runs out of bounds. Brad Lewis picks it up and puts them down for a first down, a 13-yard gain for the senior quarterback from Shadyside, Ohio. Free safety Randell Jones finally guided him out of bounds in front of the Maryland bench. Linebackers came outside to bring pressure off the edge. The defensive backs walked up into a press position. So they were taking an inside alignment, man coverage all over the field with an all-out blitz. Super decision by Brad Lewis. Drive began back at the West Virginia 13. They're to the Maryland 47. First down and 10. Twin receivers right, single receiver left. Tight end strong right. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to Avon. He cuts it into the middle of the field. Over the 45 and down to the 43 of the Terrapins. A four-yard gain on first down for junior Avon Coburn, who needs 75 yards coming into the game to move into second place all time at West Virginia, passing Robert Walker and Arthur Owens in the process. Good job here, Tony. Uh, uh, very much under control. I like Brad Lewis. He seems confident out there, seeing things clearly, getting good development. Second down and six. Twin receivers right. Single receiver Terry to the left. Snap. Handoff goes to Avon, and he's going to buckle it up and get it down to the 41 yard line. A gain of two on the play will make it third down and four. Linebacker E.J. Henderson, who had 17 tackles, a personal best last week at Wake Forest made the tackle that time. Henderson, I think, an outstanding linebacker, Tony. He's a 240-pounder. He's rangy. He can run. He's a factor on run and pass. True freshman receiver McQuell Henderson has come in for West Virginia. The Golden Blue put twin receivers to each side. Third down and four from the Maryland 41-yard line. Out of the shotgun. Brad Lewis takes the snap. Dropping straight back. He looks for Nastasi. Pass is incomplete. We're going to get an interference call. Interference against Randell Jones, the free safety pushing A.J. Nastasi down. As A.J. looked back for the ball, Jones applied a two-handed push right into Nastasi. The crowd does not like the call because it appeared as though it was not a catchable football. Now the officials confer, and it will be an interference call. That's a first down for West Virginia. Our scoreless football game has the clock frozen with 10.28 to play. Tony, that was just a, a uh, really a streak route into the boundary against two deep coverage. And uh, go ahead and let the official here. 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. And uh, basically, Brad had to try to get that ball in the hole. And he did keep it wide so it could not be picked. Right. But like you say, the free safety just uh, made a bad play there. A poor decision on his part by pushing him because it was not going to be caught. Yep. John Terry, Antonio Brown line up as receivers to the right. Phil Braxton, single receiver to the near side. Tight end, right. Brad Lewis out of the gun. Avon Coburn off to his right side. Here's the snap back to Brad. Rolling pocket to the right. Brad looking downfield. Has time. Fired for Antonio. He makes the catch inside the 10-yard line to the 9. Oh, what a beautiful catch by the little guy, Antonio Brown. A 17-yard pickup. Tightly covered by the strong safety, Tony Jackson. Some way, somehow, Antonio Brown heading toward the far sideline, got his hands on it, brought it down, and got his feet down before going out of bounds. That's tight end trips, Tony, the smash into it, and he hit the inside receiver on flag. First down, handoff goes to Avon Coburn. He is hit in the backfield, dropped for a loss. 
back to the 13-yard line, a four-yard loss on the play as the linebacker Mike Whaley was there to make that tackle. So West Virginia goes backward after making a beautiful play on the reception to Brown. Have to remember, defenses change with different field position. That was on the 10-yard line, or we start getting down inside the 10, you're gonna see different fronts. This is a goal-to-go situation. Second and goal from the 13. Twin receivers to each side. Avon Coburn to the right of quarterback Brad Lewis. Lewis gets the snap back, rolling to his right. Pressure comes. Brad steps up. Fires ball is going to be ruled as an incomplete pass down at the two to Sean Terry. Just a hair underthrown, forcing Terry to come back to the ball, and he just could not get it off the turf before it landed there. Otherwise, uh, three more inches into the air, he makes the catch, and they're down to the two-yard line. Absolutely. That was good pressure by Maryland. They forced Brad to adjust his route as he rolled to it. He had to step up, then pull up, make the throw. And like you say, a couple inches shorter, we've got a big completion. Here's a big play. Third and goal from the 13. Twins right, single receiver left. Coburn's alone setback. Here's the snap. Brad Lewis rolling to his left, hit by a defender, looking downfield. Fires into the end zone. Pass for Brown is intercepted. Taken out there by Tony Jackson, who is covering Antonio Brown. Just a bit behind the intended receiver, Brown. And Tony Jackson, with his third interception of the season, snuffs out West Virginia's scoring attempt. Yeah, that ball was uh, thrown into the end zone that time, Tony. Well covered on a crossing pattern. And I thought the safety that time did a well, really good job playing it. Brad tried to lay it in there nice and soft just didn't have the space to do that. So that drive began at the 13 and ended at the 13 of Maryland. Now Maryland takes over, 9.33 to go in a scoreless opening quarter. First down and 10. They're gonna run a little flex bone here with two slots. The fullback is Killian. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the fullback, Chad Killian, a junior out of Pittsburgh, maybe gets a yard on the play. Yeah, they're going to give that on the dive, and again, they've got to account for the dive. You've got to make sure that defensively you're going to tackle the dive before the rest of the option's going to work. So it'll be second down, call it a long nine for Maryland from the 20-and-a-half-yard line. I formation this time, twin receivers to the right, tight end to the left. Here's the snap. Delay handoff goes to Bruce Perry, his first carry, and he'll be mauled for a loss of three yards on the play. Bruce Perry's first carry comes at the 8.50 mark of this opening quarter, and David Upchurch, Hyattville, Maryland product, was there to make that tackle. Upchurch having a great season. Five tackle tackles a year ago against the Terps. Now it's third down and 11 for Maryland. With a shotgun formation and a pair of setbacks between the quarterbacks, two receivers to the right. Now a motion man goes through. Here's Hill dropping back to throw. Has plenty of time. He looks. Fires has a man. And it is a one-handed catch for a first down by Jafar Williams all the way out to the 37-yard line. A 17-yard pickup. What a catch by the sophomore from Philadelphia, Jafar Williams, who literally just reached his hand out in a one-hand pick of that football. What a catch. Brian King on the coverage for West Virginia. First and 10, Maryland from their 37-yard line. Out of an eye formation with two receivers right and one to the left. The quarterback, Hill, fakes the handoff to the fullback, keeping the football. Here comes Hill, knocked out of bounds, but not before he picks up a first down. Inside Mountaineer territory to the 48-yard line, a 15-yard pickup. Hill, not known for his ability to run, has just one rushing yard this series season on 18 carries. Picks up 15 yards, and for the first time this afternoon, Maryland is in West Virginia territory. I've always felt this offense goes like the quarterback, and uh, we can't get let John Hill get cranked up here on it. Double tight ends, receivers to each side. First down and 10. Perry's the lone setback. Here's the snap, and they hand the ball off to Perry. And Perry's going to whittle his way ahead for maybe a couple of yards, brought down at the 46-yard line by Kyle Caden. Good job here uh, by the defense, Tony. A uh, real good job uh, against the tailback. We're doing uh, really containing him well, making him work hard for yards. And uh, we just have to keep plugging, doing a good job defensively. They take out both their tight ends now, Dwight. And it's second down and eight. And they'll go with uh, two receivers to the right side. They'll put a single receiver to the left. And they'll come with an eye formation. Second and eight from the West Virginia 46. 
Now the fullback goes in motion out to the left. Here's a three-step drop, and a quarterback fires. Pass is incomplete, intended over there for Maurice Shanks, a big receiver. He's 6'4", 184-pound freshman. Incomplete, ball thrown behind him. It'll be third down and eight. That was a check at the line of scrimmage, Tony, because West Virginia stayed up in their eight-man front. We had twins to the field, single receiver in the boundary. He just threw the fade into the boundary. With a strong wind behind them, it's third down and eight for the Terps from the West Virginia 46. Fully loaded shotgun here. Twin receivers to the right, single receiver left, and the quarterback Hill has a pair of setbacks between it. Snap back to Hill, dropping straight back to throw. Has time. He fires. Pass incomplete intended for the fullback, Killian, at the 41-yard line. And guess who was there to make the hit on him? Grant Wiley, and it's wonderful to say that name. Wiley laid the lumber, forcing the ball loose, and Maryland will have to punt on fourth down and eight. That was a fullback delay, trying to get us to chase people downfield, brought the fullback off late, and Grant Wiley was right there for it. Well played defensively. Brooks Bernard is ready to punt the ball, stands back at the Maryland 40. Frazier ready to return at the 10. Snap is back. West Virginia does not go for the block. Ball will be angling to the right. Lance calls for a fair catch and makes it at the 15-yard line. So with seven minutes and 22 seconds to play here in the opening quarter, West Virginia will get the football back. The Mountaineers were productive on their opening drive of the game, going from their 13 all the way down to the Maryland 13. But Brad Lewis had a pass intercepted in the end zone on a third down and goal from the 13-yard line, and Maryland took it over. Yeah, the big thing there, Tony, is we were in three-point range. So you do yeah. that. The one thing Brad will learn, I'm sure, from that is that they don't come out there without points. Fully loaded shotgun this time for West Virginia with Coburn and Quincy Wilson between Lewis. And Lewis takes the snap, hands off to Avon. And Avon takes the ball ahead to the 20-yard line, a gain of five yards on the play. Mike Whaley, a second-team freshman All-American from a year ago, defensively there to make the stop on Coburn. Avon comes in, averaging 139 rushing yards per game. On second down and five. Two receivers left, two receivers right. Coburn's the lone setback. With a shotgun, Brad Lewis awaits the snap from Dillon. He's got the ball, dropping straight to throw. Wide open in the right flat is Avon. He makes the catch, and he is immediately knocked down there after a pickup of three by linebacker Leon Joe. West Virginia now facing third down and two from its 23-yard line. That time just brought one linebacker, Tony. The other linebacker did pick up the tailback, and that's where we heard him last time. We got right. the ball to Coburn. He got up the boundary for a first down. Here we go. Third down and two from the 23. Shotgun. Two receivers left. Single receiver out to the right. Coburn off to the left side of Lewis. Brad Barks signals. Looks over to the Mountaineer sideline. Changes the play at the line of scrimmage. Play clock is down to three. Lewis. Still waiting. We're going to get a delay game here. And the clock expires. And West Virginia, for the first time this season, will be called on delay of game. So a third and two will become a third down and seven. West Virginia was trying to change the play there at the line. And Brad Lewis, unaware of the play clock, and it had gone down inside of three before he ever realized it. Maryland was having a hard time getting lined up, Tony. We put uh, a pro formation in the boundary, two wide outs to a tight end and twins the field. Maryland messed it up, and that's where Brad was trying to get some right play. Twins to each side, third down and seven. Brad Lewis ready, out of the gun, takes the snap, looks up, looks up, fires for Antonio, and he can't make the catch at the 32. It was there to be caught. Antonio simply dropped it. Tony Jackson, the strong safety, was on the coverage, but Antonio wishes he could have had that one one more time. Yeah, it was going to be a good catch because there was a defender right there making a hit on him, but uh, still, that's the one Antonio expects to catch, I know. Mark Fazolari on for his first punt attempt of the afternoon. Stands back at the West Virginia 5. Snap is back. Punt is away. Julian Gary, the return man, approaches the football, waves it off. Going to take a hop. Inside, it rolls the 45 of Maryland down to the 44-yard line, a 38-yard punt. Maryland will have a good starting point with 5 minutes and 38 seconds to go in our scoreless opening quarter. Ralph Friedgen's team ready to take the ball for the third time this afternoon. So a little feeling-out process underway here at Bird Stadium. 
Both yeah. teams moving it a little bit, but yet uh, nothing to show for it. Well, I'll tell you, you can, yeah, exactly right, Tony. But I think uh, Brad's got to get his composure back because he really got off that first drive. It was beautiful. Yeah. Don't let that interception get to you. We got a lot of game ahead of us here. Offset eye formation for Maryland on first down and 10. Two receivers out to the right side. The quarterback, Sean Hill, takes the snap. Hands off to Perry. He is slowed down momentarily in the backfield. Now breaks loose, and he is drilled down by Rick Sherrod after picking up five yards on the play. Takes it ahead to the 49-yard line of the Terrapins. Rick Sherrod, the 6'2", 195-pound senior from Charleston, came over from his free safety spot, and I mean he laid into Bruce Perry. Second down and five. Eye formation. Tight end strong to the right. Two receivers out to the left. Here's the snap. The handoff to Perry right up the middle. He goes. He plunges the head. Ball comes loose, but they'll blow it dead on the carry of four-yard pickup. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. This is MSN, the Mountaineer Sports Network. Third down and a yard for Maryland from the West Virginia 47. Tight formation. Eye set. Wing left. Wingman comes in motion from left to right. Hill barking out the signal. Snap. Handoff. Mark Riley, the ball carrier, has the first down as he takes it down inside the 45 of West Virginia to the 44. Old-fashioned power football. They load it up the line to the left, and Riley, with his first carry, takes it ahead. A gain of three on the play. They're taking advantage of their size there, Tony. Great big up front, two tight ends, got the extra fullback in there, and uh, just loading it up in the ta off tackle hole. First down and ten. They're going to show two slots. And the fullback back there, a flex bone formation. Now the man comes in motion from the left slot, and they're going to hand the ball off. Fake handoff. Here comes Hill, throwing right side. Pass is caught by Rich Carson up the near sideline, down to the 30-yard line he goes. Pick up of 15 yards on the play as Rich Carson comes out of the backfield, and he makes the reception. So they show that flex bone formation that Ohio University used so much against West Virginia, and they dump the ball off to the right side. So Maryland, its deepest penetration inside Mountaineer territory. First down and 10 from the West Virginia 30. I set. Here's the snap. Hand off Perry. Perry running to his left. Perry gets away from a tackler. Perry up the sideline. The 15 to the 10 to the 5. Knocked down by Rick Sherrod. Inside the 5 to the 3. A 27-yard pickup by Bruce Perry. And the nation's leading ground gainer gets off that time over the right side. He slipped a tackle about five yards after taking the ball. Lance Frazier missed him, and then Hackett missed him, and that set him free on the near sideline. First and goal, Maryland from the three-yard line. Double tight ends, eye formation. Mark Riley is the tailback. James Lynch is the fullback. Now he goes in motion, the fullback does. Option toss goes to Riley into the end zone. Touchdown, Maryland. Three-yard touchdown run for Mark Riley. His fourth touchdown rush of the season. And with three minutes and 55 seconds to play, the Terps take a six-to-nothing lead. Field position there, Tony. We gave him the ball near midfield, and it's just hard to keep him out of the end zone when you get a, a team this good anyway with that good an offense. Nick Novak on for the extra point attempt with 3.55 left. Snap a bit high. The kick is away, and the kick is good. Maryland, seven. West Virginia, nothing. Let's take a moment. A six-play, 56-yard drive from Maryland with uh, Mark Riley running it in from three yards out, using up a minute and 43 seconds, gives the Terrapins a 7-0 lead with 3.55 to play. Tony, you get the feeling that Maryland uh, came in with the idea of establishing the pass early. They knew we were going to load up an eight-man front. They want to get the pass going. Then they came back that drive and really got the run going on us with good field position. Vidad Silkovic, the kickoff man for Maryland, drills it into the air. Going to take a hop, and it gets by Sean Terry, and he'll let it roll back in there and take the touchback out to the 20-yard line. So Silkovic. Kept it low on the ground. It bounced in front of Terry. He was standing at the five. Got by him. He ran into the end zone and fell down on the football. And West Virginia will take over first down and 10 from its 20-yard line. So the Mountaineers will have to work from behind. Now trailing seven to nothing. Mountaineers uh, had a very impressive drive. Their first time they touched the ball from their own 13 down to the Maryland 13. But an interception ended the drive. 
Here we go. Conventional snap from center for West Virginia. Two receivers left. Now Brown goes in motion left to right. And they're going to hand the ball off to Antonio. He tries to turn it upfield. And Brown is hit at the 23-yard line and stopped dead in his tracks. Three-yard gain. Randell Jones and Leon Joe waiting on Antonio Brown. And Dwight had seen there that he was just a little bit tentative in turning that corner and didn't use his greatest asset as speed. Well, he was running out of field, I think. He was hunting for a place to turn up, and uh, they just did a good job defending that. That's just that quick handoff, a reverse type of action where we just try to take advantage of Antonio's speed, and he sort of ran out of field, I think. Second down and seven from the Mountaineer 23. Two receivers to each side. Shotgun formation. Coburn's alone setback. Maryland puts five down the line. Now Avon will move over to the left side. Lewis awaits the snap. It's back. And they're going to hand the ball off to Coburn. Coburn, he tries to turn the corner, and very little there. But well, we're going to get a penalty flag thrown in from the back judge. Going to get a face mask in all likelihood. Tackle was made by Mike Whaley, the linebacker. And Avon Coburn did pick up a yard. The officials confer as that flag came flying in. And we are going to get a personal foul, 15-yard face mask against Maryland. Dragged him down by his mask. A little conference there by the officials was to determine whether it was a 5 or a 15. And as we take a look at our monitor, there's no question that he did hang on and bring him down by the mask. First of all, face mask on the defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. Avon, Avon might have broken that. And if he, he, he didn't get the, the face mask because he had a little, uh, little edge on it. Empty backfield for West Virginia. Five receivers in the formation, first and ten. From the 38, Lewis takes the snap. Quick drop, quick throw. Pass caught, Phil Braxton ahead to the 45-yard line of West Virginia. Seven yards on the pickup. Jerome Cox, sophomore out of Arlington, Virginia, wrapped up Phil Braxton, who makes his second catch of the afternoon. Braxton comes in with the 11 catches so far this season. Now on second down and three for the Mountaineers. Again, empty backfield. Three to the left, two receivers out to the right. Lewis gets the snap. Quick drop, looks into the flat. Ball caught by Antonio. Brown takes the ball over the 45, ahead of the 47-yard line. A gain of two on the play, and a late penalty marker is going to be thrown away from the point of the tackle, directly in the middle of the field between the hash marks. It was thrown by the referee, and that's going to be another personal foul call here against Maryland. Some extracurricular activity away from the ball, right where the line was blocking that was a bubble screen that time, Tony, out of empty set. Trips the field, the twins in the boundary, and uh, we've got Maryland running all over the field to these different formation looks. I like it. First of the foul, kicking it. Gets the defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic. First down. One of the Maryland players kicked one of the West Virginia offensive linemen. I believe it was the tackle, Tim Brown. He stood up and was applauding after the flag had been thrown. So West Virginia, with a pair of 15-yard penalties against Maryland, has taken the ball to the Terrapin 38. Mountaineers trail 7-0 with 2.13 to go in the opening quarter. First and 10. Two to the right, one to the left. Out of the gun. Here's Brad. Rolling to his right, has protection, looking downfield, still looking, going for a deep ball downfield. The pass is going to be incomplete. Inside the five, oh. Antonio Brown was the intended receiver, but he was out of bounds yeah, when he great caught it. Catch. Great catch, out of bounds, and well covered. That was the wheel route where the inside receiver runs flattened up. And uh, I'll tell you what, that defender ran really well with Antonio. Step for step, he was there. Some way, somehow, Antonio made the catch, but he was way out of bounds. Second down and 10, West Virginia. Mountaineers with inside of two minutes to go, trying to come back and tie this game at seven. Down seven zip. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Lewis takes the snap, dropping back to throw, looking over the middle, has time, fires. Antonio makes the catch at the Maryland 20, and he plunges down to the 16 of the Terrapins. 22 yards on the pickup for Antonio Brown, Randell Jones, pushed him down but West Virginia's got a first down with 151 to go in the quarter the ball spotted at the 17 of the Terrapins uh, cleared the receivers on the left side cleared Antonio came a dragging across at about 10 to 12 yards uh, well thrown it really developed nicely and, uh, and a good catch and run after the catch Antonio Brown out of the game Sean Swindoll has come in on first down and 10. Snap handoff Avon Avon inside the 15 and he's down to the 11 yard line a gain of six for Avon Coburn. 
Randell Jones again making that tackle. And boy, has he really been all over early in this football game. We're doing a better job up front. I think our guys up front are getting a little better feel here too, Tony. We're getting a few seams in there. This running game is going to start picking up, I think. High formation for West Virginia. Double tight end set. Lone receiver is Swindoll out to the right. Play clock's down to five. Here's the snap. Hand off Avon. Avon picks his way inside the ten. And he'll gain three on the play. Should have, well, no. Close to the first down, but not quite there. Needed four, gains three. Inside of a minute on a turning first quarter clock. Leon Joe, the weak side backer, and Tony Jackson, the strong safety, wrapped up Avon Coburn. 45 seconds and a quarter left, Tony, here. West Virginia trailing seven to nothing. It's third down and a yard from the Maryland eight yard line. I formation, double tight end, single receiver right. Lewis parking signal, takes a snap, toss play, Coburn hit him in the backfield, and he'll be stopped for a one-yard loss. They knock him down at the nine. Mike Whaley, linebacker, made the tackle. West Virginia will be looking at fourth down, and on will come the kick team, Brendan Roud, trots onto the field. Great play, that's the second time Whaley's made a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Well, with the two tight end flanker, we got 10 of them up there that time, Tony, and they were just going to gamble on stopping that run. 27-yard field goal attempt. Brendan Rao is ready, but before he can get it off, the time expires to end our first quarter of play. At the end of one, it's Maryland 7, West Virginia nothing. Today's game is brought to you by West Virginia's Bank, United National Bank. We're united with the Mountaineers. By Walker Machinery, reminding you that coal keeps the lights on. By the West Virginia Lottery, good things happen when you play. By Gatorade Thirst Quencher, you either have it or you don't. Gatorade, is it in you? And by State Farm Insurance, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second quarter about to begin. West Virginia will try a field goal. Maryland leading 7-0. Let's get a score update from Hoppy. Tony, Oklahoma has a 7-0 lead over Kansas State early. Northwestern Michigan State tied at 7. Purdue and Minnesota underway. No score. The Buckeyes lead Indiana 3-0 in the first. North Carolina 7, North Carolina State nothing. Tony? Already Brendan Rao ready to start the second quarter with a 27-yard field goal attempt. From our left to right, A.J. Nastasi is the holder. Rao awaits the snap. 27-yarder, ready to go. Snap down, kick is up. Plenty of leg, that kick is good. West Virginia, three seconds into the second quarter, scores three. It's Maryland seven, West Virginia three. West Virginia with a 27-yard field goal from Brendan Rao has gotten onto the board. Maryland leads seven to three. Three seconds into this second quarter. Todd James ready to kick the football away. James will have a wind at his back. Rich Parson is the deep man. Back at the two. James approaches the ball. Boots it away. Angling left is the kick. Into the end zone, and it will be a touchback. Good job by James. Maryland will start off first down and 10 from its 20-yard line. Now, the Terps did score on a 56-yard drive in the opening quarter, but that was a short field. West Virginia was hemmed in back and inside it's 10. Mark Fazolari punted from the five and got the ball out there to the 44 of Maryland, but that's a pretty short field. And you've got to make them go longer than that. So they'll have to go 80 this time. From their 20-yard line, Julian Gary and Jafar Williams are receivers to the near side. High formation, Bruce Perry is the tailback. James Lynch is the fullback. They hand off to Perry. He's got a hole. He is hit, and he will take the ball ahead to the 27-yard line. Rick Sherrod making the tackle, a seven-yard gain. Perry in the opening game had 116 yards against North Carolina, against Eastern Michigan, 133, and then last week, 276 yards against Wake Forest. Second down and three for the Terps from their 27. Twin receivers left. I formation, handoff Perry, and Perry this time is going to be met by Rick Sherrod. But what a wonderful job he did to keep his forward progress. And he pushes Sherrod back about a couple of yards, and they're going to get a first down as he takes it ahead of the 31-yard line. They're called the 32. 
Tony, they, uh, before, they in the first quarter, when they lined up in twins, they were running tight end side. The last two runs have been split side. Double tight ends this time, Dwight, with two receivers to the left, and a lone setback is Perry. They like to run the inside zone out of this. On first and 10 from the Maryland 32-yard line, the quarterback Hill takes a snap, running option to the near side. Hill keeping, Hill hit, Hill going to be dragged down by James Davis at the 38-yard line, a gain of six on that play. That was a tr yeah, that was a tight end trip to field that time. Instead of balancing up two tights and putting the wide outs to opposite sides, they put both wide outs to the same side, ran the option to it. We did a good job taking the pitch. The quarterback just got too many yards, and he was accounted for. We just have to make the hit. Can't let him be a runner here this afternoon. That's his second productive run. Second down and four for the Terps from their 38. Here's Hill, three-step drop, looks right, fires left, man-to-man -man coverage, wide open, Scooter Monroe, and he makes the catch down to the West Virginia 30-yard line. Oh, and a beautiful grab over the shoulder. Scooter Monroe hauled it in, just his fourth catch of the season. But a perfectly thrown football that goes for a 32-yard pickup. Scooter Monroe beats the coverage of Brian King. Boy, that was a great catch. That was a great catch. I'll tell you, that, uh, that's as good as it gets, Tony. Maryland moving. Down to the West Virginia 30. It's first down and 10. Two receivers right out of the gun. Handoff goes to Bruce Perry up the middle, and he'll take the ball down to the 25-yard line. A five-yard pickup. Maryland starting to pick it up in chunks. Five here, six here, and the long pass play, and they've got the ball down to the Mountaineer 25-yard line. Perry's signaling the sideline. He wants out, but uh, they're not going to substitute. They said you stay in there. Second and five from the 25. Twins right. I formation. Handoff goes to Perry. Perry up the middle is hit and driven down, but he does take the ball to the 21 yard line a four yard pickup Perry now signaling again over to the Maryland bench says I'm all right now Maryland leads the football game by four points seven to three and they've got the ball quickly down to the West Virginia 21 it is third down and a yard Mark Riley has come in as the tailback it's an eye formation wing right double tight end set wing comes in motion out to the left reverses back to the right now back to the left Here's the snap. Hand off to Riley. Riley is going to take the ball inside the 20. First down to the 18. Gain of four yards on that play from Mark Riley, who scored a touchdown for the Terps in the opening quarter. Okay, we're inside the 20 now, Tony, so chances are pretty good. West Virginia is going to start pick up the heat just a little bit in here. And, of course, uh, this might be the place they want to look at more, a little more play action or option. Twin receivers out to the right. Sean Hill has a single setback. That's Perry. Here's Hill. Three-step drop. Fire into the right side. Has a man pass caught inside the 10 by Gary. He's down to six. A 12-yard pickup on a slant from right to left. Richard Bryant brought him down. But a 12-yard gain on the play. And it'll be a first down and goal down to the West Virginia six-yard line. Sean Hill's playing really well, Tony. Yep. He is throwing with precision. Maryland leads 7-3, looking for more. Early second quarter, snap, handoff, Bruce Perry inside the five, into the end zone, touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run by Bruce Perry, and Maryland on the ground builds its lead to 10, 13-3 with 11.40 to go. Nothing fancy. No, just off tackle right side. Their offensive line took charge of the line of scrimmage on that drive. We're just not, we're not really controlling the line right now, the offense is. Nick Novak on for the extra point attempt. Kicking from our right to left. Snap is back. Kick is on the way. It's blocked. No good. It was a blocked kick by the Mountaineers. Rick Sherrod. It appears got his hand on the football, and the score will hold at 10. 13 to 3, Maryland has the lead. Vidad Silkovic's kickoff fielded by Sean Terry from the 2. He's to the 10, to the 15, to the 20. Terry on his feet over the 25, and he takes the pile down to the 29-yard line. 27 yards on the return for senior Sean Terry. And the Mountaineers will take the ball from there. West Virginia down by 10 points, 13 to 3, very early, second quarter, 11.28 to play. Maryland, though, has got to be stopped when they've got the football in their last two drives. 
They've picked up 151 yards on 19 plays, resulting in a pair of touchdowns. Well, the thing that bothers you is they're starting to get that run game going, and that's the one thing we want to not allow them to do. First down and 10, snap back to Brad, rolling the pocket out to the left, looking downfield, still looking, pressure comes. Now they'll fire the ball out of bounds. Incomplete, Brad just threw that one away. Good coverage downfield by the Terps. Spread out two, uh, three receiver side, and we get a vertical flood there. And uh, he just decides to throw it away, and wisely so, because it was well covered by Maryland. Stops the clock with 11.21 to go here in the second quarter. Second and 10, West Virginia from its 29. Two receivers to each side. Shotgun snap back to Lewis, takes the handoff to Coburn. Now low, rolls to his left, looks downfield, pass too tall, and incomplete over the head of Sean Terry, the intended receiver. Coverage by the cornerback O'Connell on. Step for step that time with Terry, and very quickly it's third down and ten. I think that darn Henderson, that middle linebacker, kind got, kind of got underneath the passing lane, and Brad had to throw it over him, but so kind of fit it in there, and it was just too high. The route had good development, and I like that boot action. West Virginia facing a third and ten from its 29-yard line. Two receivers out to each side, out of the gun. Coburn's the lone setback. Snap back to Lewis. Rolling the pocket again to the left. Backside pressure comes. Lewis lets go of the football. Looking for Antonio Brown. Pass is incomplete, but we've got a late hit back downfield against Maryland as they knock quarterback Brad Lewis to the turf. Roughing the passer will be the call, and this drive will stay alive for West Virginia. And it'll be the third 15-yard penalty against the Terps here in the opening half. Fourth. Fourth one. Four 15-yarders against Maryland. Roughing the passes on the defense. 15-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. The nose tackle, Charles Hill, making a late hit on Brad Lewis. And that keeps the drive alive. Otherwise, that drive was going to be over because Lewis had to throw that ball away as Brown was well covered downfield. Instead, the ball will go to the West Virginia 44-yard line. 44-yard line will be the line of scrimmage. West Virginia first and 10. Triple receivers to the left, single receiver to the right. Shotgun snap, handoff goes to Avon. Avon over the midfield strike. Avon takes it to the right. Avon to the 40 up the sideline, 35. Puts the shoulder down inside the 30, down to the 29-yard line. 27 yards on the pickup for Avon Coburn. A big run by the junior back. And the Mountaineers now with a little new life. As Quincy Wilson checks into the lineup for West Virginia, the Mountaineers will go two in the backfield on first down and ten. A little bit of Maryland's own medicine there. Get yep. the crack and then just outrun him. Quick snap, West Virginia. Here's Lewis rolling to his left. Lewis fires. Pass is caught inside the 20-yard line down to the 17. Caught by Sean Terry O'Conlawan, the cornerback. On the coverage, Maryland absolutely wasn't ready. They were not set in their defense, and West Virginia had the ball, spotted it, and threw downfield. First and ten, tempo picks up. West Virginia down to Maryland, 17-yard line. Here's the shotgun snap. Handoff goes to Avon, looking for room. Avon inside the 15, and he'll take it down to the 12-yard line. A gain of five on the play for Coburn. 10-40 and counting, second quarter. West Virginia driving, trailing in the football game. 13 to 3. Mountaineers looking for their first touchdown of the afternoon. Defense uh, playing a little higher now, Tony, and we're knocking them off the ball a little bit better. They're getting tired they're standing up and not keeping the leverage. Second and five from the Maryland 12. Snap back to Lewis. Handoff drops. Good fumble football. Who got it? West Virginia did. Oh my goodness. Quincy Wilson mishandled the football initially and was able to turn and get back on top of the ball a five-yard loss but West Virginia keeps the football almost gave it to Maryland I was just on the handoff we need to take a little more time make sure we're getting that handoff with the new running back in there Maryland tried to pick that up instead of falling on it and it cost them the ball now it's third down and ten West Virginia from the Maryland 17 two receivers to each side Quincy Wilson's the setback out of the gun snap to Brad Brad looks Brad throws pass deflected and incomplete Mike Whaley the linebacker deflected the pass intended for Phil Braxton it'll be fourth down and ten and Rich Rodriguez is going to bring on Brendan Rao 
try to cut that Maryland lead to seven points. They brought an all-out blitz that time, Tony. Well done, deflected. Uh, they knew we were going to try to throw a slant or fade, and they were right. They deflected the slant back. 34-yard field goal attempt for Rao from the hold of Nastasi. Snap is back, it's down. The kick is on the way. It's got plenty of distance. That kick is good. Brendan Rao with a 34-yard field goal. Maryland leads. West Virginia does answer. The Terrapins 13, the Mountaineers 6. Nine and a half minutes till halftime. West Virginia trails 13-6. Here's the Mountaineer kickoff again, Tony and Dwight. Thank you, Woody. Todd James has the ball on the tee, kicking it from our left to right toward the team building here at the stadium. James boots the ball, angling to the left again, heading into the end zone and out the back of the end zone. Good job by Todd James. Touchback. Maryland will start from its 20. With nine minutes and 27 seconds to play, West Virginia down by seven, 13 to six. Brendan Rao has hit on a pair of field goals. Maryland has scored two touchdowns, but did miss an extra point earlier. Be a good place to get a shutdown here, Tony. We just need to get this uh, defense off the field. Let's go yeah. in here and put a little chink in the armor of this Maryland. They're gaining a lot of confidence. Out of an eye formation, Mark Riley is in at tailback. Bruce Perry is on the bench right now. Twin receivers out to the right. Play action on first down. Pressure comes. Sean Hill, he's going to be hit. And he'll go down. He gets rid of the football. They'll mark him down on a sack. Give the credit there to James Dirty Davis. A 16-yard loss as he drops Maryland quarterback Sean Hill at the four-yard line. That's what we needed. Good job. His knee was down as he let go of the football, says the official. James Davis has his third sack of the season. Maryland now looks at second down and 26 from its four-yard line. With a wind blowing into its face. The Maryland offense trying to come out. Two receivers left, eye formation. Snap, delay handoff taken by Mark Riley. He'll get to the six, that's it. Two yards on the pickup. Kyle Caden, senior linebacker in there, fired up, made the stop on Riley, who scored Maryland's first touchdown of the game. They're fairly conservative down here, backed up, Tony, which you'd expect, although they do like to sprint out pass. Uh, he'll sprint out some, they like tailback delays or fullback delays, tight end delays, that kind of thing. Maryland needs to get to its 30-yard line for a first down. Ball is spotted at the six. Terrapins come out with two receivers left. Single receiver to the right. Wide offset backfield. Here's Hill. Three-step drop. Firing right side. Pass is deflected. Incomplete out of bounds off the fingertips of the fullback James Lynch. And West Virginia stops Maryland. And now we've got a very late penalty marker thrown in front of the Mountaineer bench I don't know what happened there in front of the side and over on the sideline a late marker was thrown boy this will kill you if it's an automatic first down I have no idea what happened over there long after the play had ended maybe get a sideline warning no unsportsmanlike conduct against West Virginia Here's the referee. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct, on the defense, 15-yard penalty, fourth down. Not an automatic first down on unsportsmanlike. So the 16-yard sack on the opening play of that drive is so important that time, Dwight, for West Virginia. Well, Does give them a little room, though, to kick from. Yeah, it hurts our field position. We're going to yeah. get that ball 50 or inside. Brooks Bernard is on to punt the ball. He's got a strong wind coming into him. He stands back at his six-yard line. Lance Frazier back to return at the Mountaineer 40. West Virginia eight down on the line. Here's Bernard getting the ball away. Oh, boy, beautiful spiraling bomb of a kick over his shoulder. Frazier makes the catch. Frazier slips through a defender and will be brought down at the 26-yard line. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. This is MSN, the Mountaineers Sports Network. West Virginia will begin first down and 10 from its 26-yard line. Mountaineers down by a touchdown. 13 to 6, Maryland lead. 7.55 to go in the half. Twin receivers to each side. Shotgun formation for West Virginia. Single setback. And they snap and they hand off to Avon. Avon is hit hard at the 25, 26 will give them. And they'll lose 
Ah, no, they won't. No gain on the play. Half yard loss, maybe. E.J. Henderson, who's a candidate for all ACC honors this season, made the tackle on Avon. Good middle linebacker. Quick tempo. West Virginia, Maryland's defense not ready. Here's the snap back to Lewis. Penalty flag flies. Lewis fires. Pass caught. Phil Braxton. Another flag is down as Braxton is thrown out of bounds over at the 31-yard line. We've got two flags thrown on the play. Side judge threw one, and the line judge threw one. Offsides, Maryland is the call. This is, the, this is going to be interesting because West Virginia has quickened the tempo and quickened the pace, and Maryland's defense is not handling it well. West Virginia has snapped the ball. Defense, five-yard penalty, repeat, second down. West Virginia has been snapping that thing on a couple of occasions. Maryland has not been ready. Need to hit one on them. Second down and six West Virginia from its 30-yard line. Twins to each side. Out of the gun, Lewis takes the snap, drops the throw. He fires. Pass is incomplete for Phil Braxton, thrown behind and high. Incomplete. Third down and six. Yeah, I think that uh, when we find Brad on occasion, he tries to throw to the top of a rusher, and you really need a passing lane in there to get that out of there. Quick tempo, West Virginia, Maryland slowly substituting. Third and six from the West Virginia 30. Twins to each side. Lewis is ready. Maryland's defense is set. Here's the snap. Blitz comes. Lewis rolling to his right. Pressure comes. Heaves the ball downfield for Antonio. And Brown makes the catch at the midfield strike. First down, West Virginia. Antonio Brown with a 20-yard reception. They got man coverage on Brown that time. Brown against the safety, Rod Littles. And Antonio makes the reception. First down for West Virginia. And they'll put the ball down just shy of the 50 on the West Virginia side. Wonderful catch there, Tony. That was well covered. And he just shielded the ball from the defender. Triple receivers right. Shotgun snap. Handoff goes to Avon. Drill. No gain on the play. E.J. Henderson once again on the tackle. Second and ten coming up. Seven minutes on a turning second quarter clock. Maryland leads 13 to six. Well, that Henderson's becoming a real factor on that inside run. So I wouldn't be surprised we don't come with a complimentary crossing run. Quick snap. Here's an option run by Brad Lewis. Shoulder down. He's inside the 35, and he'll go down to the 42-yard line. From the 45 down to the 42, eight yards on the pickup. Do you know what, though? Backside, West Virginia had three against two. Three receivers out there. Maryland had two out there. If they see it, they can take advantage. Third down and two now. West Virginia from the Maryland 42-yard line. Double tight, single setback, snap. Handoff, Avon slips, hit in the backfield, stops short, no game. Fourth down, West Virginia. He's got the wind at his back. And he's going to go for it. Rich Rodriguez is going to go for it. Fourth down and two from the Maryland 42. Six minutes to play. Second quarter. Out of the gun, snap. Fake handoff. Lewis in trouble. Lewis steps up. Lewis going to run. Brad takes the ball. First down to the 40. To the 35. To the 30. To the 25. That a boy, Brad Lewis. All the way down to the 21-yard line. A gain of 22 yards for the senior quarterback on fourth down and two. West Virginia on the move. Down by seven points. Has taken the ball down to the Maryland. 21-yard line with 5.51 to go in the second quarter. Big, big play. Super job, Brad. Maryland not ready defensively. West Virginia ready to go. Snap down. Handoff goes to Avon. Avon breaks the tackle to the 20. Inside is Rigo to the 10. Rigo down inside the 8. They put Cooper Rigo in with fresh legs. He gains 13. First and goal, West Virginia. Maryland's defense is not handling West Virginia's spread offense and no huddle they are bunched up together and they're not getting in the proper position ninth play of the drive coming up first and goal from the eight out of the eye set tight ends to each side snap toss handoff goes to avon avon going to be hit and he'll get nothing on that play no gain for avon cobra second and goal coming up from the eight west virginia quickly off the ball making substitutions taking out the two tight ends bringing in two receivers braxton and antonio brown Maryland leads 13 to 6 over West Virginia. Mountaineers looking to tie the game up. Second and goal from the eight. Two receivers to the right. Single receiver. Braxton to the left. Out of the gun. Snap. Lewis bobbles the ball. Lewis is going to keep it. Lewis up to the outside is going to be stopped at the eight. He had it open to the outside. Instead, he tried to tuck it inside, and Tony Jackson was there to meet him. 
I thought there was a crease there, Tony. He tried to get around that Henderson, and then Henderson made a great, great reaction and then got the tackle. But uh, just stay up strong inside there, Brad. Third and goal from the eight-yard line. Coburn to the right, now to the left of Lewis. Two receivers out left, one to the right. Big play, third and goal from the eight. Snap back to Lewis, dropping straight back. He looks, he fires. Braxton, catch, touchdown! Phil Braxton, an eight-yard touchdown reception. Took the cornerback, Karam Cox, into the inside, stopped, pivoted, came back to the near side pylon in front of the end zone and makes the touchdown catch. West Virginia can tie the game now with the extra point with 4.31 to go in the second quarter. Nastasi to hold. Brendan Rao on for the extra point. This is a big one. Fleming, the snapper, gets the ball back there. The kick is up. The kick is good. And we have got ourselves a tie football game. 13-13. Brad Lewis fires an 8-yard touchdown pass culminating in the 11-play, 74-yard drive in 3 minutes and 24 seconds. And West Virginia has come back to tie the game at 13-13 with 4.31 to go in the first half. Todd James ready to kick. Rich Parson ready to return. Standing back at the goal line. Todd James operating with the wind at his back. Approaches the football. Boots it away. Great kick. No return here. All the way out on the fly out of the back of the end zone. Caught by our buddy Greg Hunter in the back of that end zone. Maryland's running away from Hunter. They're afraid he's going to run with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So now it's an opportunity for West Virginia's defense to slow down these Terps again. They held them three and out last time. Jason Crawford now comes in at running back. High formation. Twin receivers to the right. Sean Hill, the quarterback, under his center. Melvin Fowler. Long count at the line. Hill takes the snap. Running option to the left. Pitch goes to Crawford. He's got pressure. Crawford breaks the tackle and now is ridden down at the 25-yard line. A gain of six on the play. Good job there. I think we counted the option well, Tony. We're just a little late getting to that doggone pitch right there. Yep. That guy's a good back, too. He doesn't go down real easy. Four minutes to go on a turning second quarter clock. Maryland, with a six-yard pickup, has second and four from its 26. Out of the eye. Here's the snap. And they hand the ball off, and this is Crawford again. Picks up a yard as he goes off the right side. Met there by Sean Hackett. Now Crawford is a true freshman from Forestville, Maryland. Has 14 carries on the season for 67 yards coming into today's game. You get the feeling, Tony, we're defensively getting back in charge of that line of scrimmage, which we gave up for a couple series. Third down and four for the Turks from their 26-yard line. Double tight end set. Receivers to each side and a single setback. Crawford. Motion man comes from right to left and goes through. Here's the snap. Hill firing wide open. Has the man complete at the 30. Trying to get it to Jafar Williams. He was open, but the pass uncatchable. And West Virginia holds the Terps on four plays. It'll be fourth down and four. That time Actually, three plays. Yeah, that time Hill tried to throw a quick out off the sprint out left. Just didn't really get squared up to make the throw. Brooks Bernard, an excellent punter, ready to punt. Back at his 12. Last punt went for 57 yards. Frazier back at the Mountaineer 25 to return. Snap is back to Bernard, and he gets the kick away. This one is a shanker off the left side, going to take a hop out of bounds. West Virginia is going to have a beautiful starting point at their own 43-yard line. A 31-yard punt by Bernard, and I think the win really had an effect on that one. He was kicking straight into the wind, and as soon as it got to its pinnacle, it started to drift and come to the near sideline. So West Virginia now with an opportunity to take the lead. 3.06 to go. They've got all three timeouts remaining, and the game is tied up at 13 apiece. Actually, special teams, I would say Tony's been in our favor so far, and yet I've been really impressed with Maryland's special teams. But our guys are doing a good job. Twins to each side. Ball spotted on the near side. Hash mark out of the shotgun. Lewis takes the snap. Dropping straight back to throw. He looks. He fires over the middle. Has Antonio. He makes the catch at the Maryland 40. First down, West Virginia. Strong safety, Tony Jackson. 
trying to handle Antonio Brown man on man and Antonio took him over the middle and that was that 17 yards on the pickup first and 10 West Virginia at the Maryland 40 twins to each side Coburn the lone setback fake the handoff to Avon Lewis rolling to his left looking has a man Antonio too tall incomplete through his hands out of bounds it goes Brad's just got to get his feet set that's a guy like that action that's that little bootleg action fake fake the play action roll left he just didn't get squared up to make the throw he was wanting to go somewhere else with it first but he made a good decision just get feet set triple receivers out to the left single receiver Braxton to the near side out of the gun on second and ten this time they will hand the ball off to Avon and Avon will take it down to the 36 yard line a gain of four yards on the play Mike Whaley Randy Starks making the tackle Avon Coburn now 61 yards on 16 carries third down and six from the Maryland 36 three receivers out to the left the wide side single receiver to the right Maryland showing blitz here's the snap Lewis rolling to his left pressure comes Lewis is hit Lewis gets rid of the football it's loose it's picked up by the Terrapins on the return Mike Whaley up the sideline he goes Whaley to the 30 the 25 the 20 the 10 the 5 end zone touchdown Maryland Brad Lewis caught the football up and the fumble recovery to Mike Whaley West Virginia protests and says that Lewis was throwing the football and it should have been an incomplete pass. Instead, they say fumble. And with two minutes and 15 seconds to go in the half, Maryland has scored a touchdown. Talk about a turnaround. 52 yards on the return for Mike Whaley, the linebacker. Extra point coming up for Nick Novak. Actually, they're going to make a change of kicker and put in Vidad Silkovic. Silkovic will try the extra point. Ready? Ball is down. The kick is up, and that kick is no good. He missed it wide to the right. The second extra point that they have missed. 19 to 13, the score remains. Silkovic's kickoff will be fielded by Sean Terry from the fourth. Sean to the 10, Terry over the 15, hit at the 20, and he rolls ahead to the 22-yard line. So a huge turnaround there on that last sequence as Brad Lewis rolled out to pass to his left. The ball came loose, and it was picked up by Mike Whaley, linebacker for Maryland, and he returns at 52 yards for the touchdown. As a result, Maryland has a six-point lead, 19-13, to 2.06 to go here in the opening half. We seem to be working uh, quite a bit, Tony, to the trip side. We may see us now come back, maybe work more to a single receiver away from trip. Shotgun, two receivers out to each side on first down and 10. Snap back to Lewis. Handoff goes to Avon. Avon slipped. Avon down. He'll lose a yard on that play. Down to the 21 he goes. E.J. Henderson. Wow. This guy has had a career in a half. Number 42 for the Terrapins is the third leading returning tackler in the ACC, having a great first half. Second and 11, West Virginia. Same two receivers to each side formation. Lewis takes a snap. Lewis steps up. Lewis runs into one of his own linemen and now will be knocked down at the 21-yard line. No gain, and Maryland wants a timeout. Maryland will use a timeout with one minute and 29 seconds to play here in this opening half. And West Virginia will be looking at third down and 11. That was another one of those, Tony. We had them outnumbered to the field. To our trip, they only put two defenders out there. And we had a pass route going and just didn't get to We'll take a break. Third down and 11, West Virginia from its 21. Lewis out of the gun, takes the snap, dropping the throw. Fires, pass, caught. Sean Terry down to the 22. Gains just a yard. And Maryland will stop the clock again with one minute and 21 seconds to play in this opening half. Terrapins want the ball back, leading 19 to 13. Now is a great time for West Virginia's punter, Mark Fazolari, to get off a boomer. He'll have the wind behind him strongly, Dwight. Yeah, field position has been key because these doggone Maryland guys, they do pretty well when you give them a field position. We gave them that one opportunity and they cashed in on it. Other than that, we've penned them up pretty well, put them back there, made them go the long field. And you've got a good chance uh, with these guys and you need it all. They're, uh, 
I do think, though, that we've gained some momentum here at the half. That doggone fumble took a little wind out of our sails, but golly, we were really taking charge of this. Thing. Absolutely. You know, Dwight, the turnover has killed West Virginia here. Opening half, first possession, Brad throws one into the end zone for Antonio. They pick it off. So you're down to the 13 there. You come away with no points. And then the turnover, which resulted in a direct Maryland touchdown on the fumble. And as a result, they lead by 6, 19-13. Fazolari is ready to punt the football, stands back at his 8. Julian Gary, return man for the Terps, at his 35. Maryland's going to put 8 down on the line. Fazolari awaiting the official signal for ready to play. Needs to get a boomer off here. Wynn has just gone down just momentarily. West Virginia ready. Kick will travel from our left to right. Wind picks up. Snap back to Foz. Foz gets the punt away. Not a good one. Angling. We're going to get a punt. We're going to get a penalty flag here against Maryland for hitting our punter as the ball rolls down inside the Maryland 41-yard line. But Fazolari was knocked down to the turf, and we're going to get a running into the kicker call against Maryland. Not the 15-yard first down. It was fourth and ten did take 10 seconds off of the clock and West Virginia will make its decision to the official Looks like Rich they is may not want it. it yeah because he, he they're going to get another block opportunity running into the kicker on the defense penalty is declined first down Maryland so they will let the play stand 37 yards on that punt and Maryland will have one minute and 11 seconds and one timeout to work with and they will begin this drive from just over their own 40 yard line 60 yards to go Maryland leading by six points 19 to 13 is our score Bruce Perry is the lone setback to the left of his quarterback Sean Hill they'll come out of a shotgun formation They've got three receivers to the right, one to the left. Snap back to Hill. Dropping straight, has time. He fires, flag down. Pass caught by Gary. Gary at the 50-yard line, runs out of bounds. Near the first down marker at the 49, but we've got a penalty marker thrown over on the far sideline. As the clock holds with 105 showing, and the officials will confer. Penalty will go against West Virginia offside. The play will stand. So the Terps have the ball inside West Virginia territory at the 49-yard line and 65 seconds on the clock. Tony, they just Outside. said defense. Penalty is declined. First down. Uh, actually, the official finish there, but they just really worked away from trips to a single receiver side. Got the man coverage. Okay, Maryland ready again. Out of the gun. Three receivers right, one to the left. Same formation as last play. Here's Hill dropping back to throw. Hill steps up. Hill fires. This time incomplete intended for Julian Gary at the 39-yard line of West Virginia. Lance Frazier was on the coverage for the Mountaineers. Same thing, just working into a single receiver in the boundary and yet showing trips to field. And they're just taken from the pocket protection, uh, working back into individual routes, one-on-one. -on -one. Exactly one minute to play here in the second quarter. It is second down and 10 for the Terps from the Mountaineer 49-yard line. Out of the shotgun formation. Three to the right, one to the left. Hill deep drop back, steps up, fires over the middle, passes, caught by Gary. Julian Gary gains nine on the play. As he takes it down to the 39-yard line, he did get out of bounds in front of the Maryland bench. They use up just six seconds. There's 54 seconds on the clock. Tried to get help out of our free safety that time. Uh, really... Tried to, tried to get up and get a hand, but he's just a little late getting there. Officials call timeout momentarily. They might be bringing the chains over. Yes, they will from the far sideline. Boy, I tell you what. Maryland is picking at West Virginia here. They've run that same formation three consecutive times. They put twin receivers out wide right. They take their tight end and just flex them just a hair off of the line onto the right side and they get a single receiver to the left side and they go back to that left side receiver there and he's just been running curls and on the man on man coverage they've been hitting going to stretch the chains out and Maryland will be short of the first down will be third down 
And less, uh, well, about uh, half a yard, we'll call it. 54 seconds on a stop second quarter clock. Maryland looking to build on a six-point advantage. The game had been tied at 13-13, and West Virginia was driving, but a fumble by Brad Lewis and a recovery by Mike Whaley and a return for the touchdown for Whaley gave Maryland the lead back by six. The extra point by the Terps was no good, and obviously that could very well factor into the outcome of this football game in the second half. We want to keep them off the scoreboard here if we can, Tony. we got 54 seconds, and they're getting into field goal range here pretty soon. So you really need to play hard defensively right here. Different formation this time. Twins right, single receiver left, and the lone setback, Perry, is shaded off to the right side of the line. On third down, less than a half yard, quarterback sneak, and he plunges ahead. He'll have the first down. And that just took up three seconds, 51 seconds to go. Need to signal the first down, reset the change, and that'll start the clock. Bruce Perry, their talented tailback, goes out of the game, replaced by Mark Riley, who scored Maryland's first touchdown this afternoon. Now on first down and 10 from the Mountaineer 39. Hill dropping back to throw out of the gun. Looking, plenty of time. Fires pass, incomplete. And we're going to get an interference call against West Virginia. Richard Bryant says the ball was tipped by Kyle Caden. And the players get over to the officials and say that ball was tipped. It shouldn't be interference. But they're going to call interference against West Virginia. As we take a look at our replay monitor, let's get a look. He'll release that football. And it's too tough on our monitor, really, to get a good read. It looked like the rotation on the ball did change. It's about the same difference as to where a completion would have been made. Pass interference on the defense. Spot foul. Automatic. First down. Boy, Maryland is really being fortuitous here with these way the clock has been working. I mean, they took this ball over with just a, over a minute to go, and they've got the ball down now to the Mountaineer 24 with 42 seconds to play in the half. First and 10. Twin receivers to each side. Shotgun formation. Riley the lone setback to the left of the quarterback. Hill, he takes the snap. Pressure comes. Hill fires, and the pass is incomplete. They brought West Virginia's Brian King on a blitz into the face of the quarterback Hill. Quick release by Hill as a result, and the pass uncatchable to Jafar Williams. Good call defensively there, Tony. Really broke that blitz. Uh, we just came in free, scot free. Second and, down. Uh, put the heat on. You're right, Dwight. Excuse me. Second down and 10. Maryland up the West Virginia 24. Bruce Perry is back into the game. Lone setback to the left of his quarterback out of the gun. Two receivers weak side. Snap back to Hill. Pressure comes again. Hill releases the football wide open. Gary makes the catch at the 10. Gary down inside the 10 to the seven yard line. Same Julian. blitz. Julian. Oh my goodness. Same blitz that time, Tony. And he got there, but he's a step late. Uh, got a good hit on the quarterback, but he stood in, took the hit for the completion. Good first, job by Hill. First and goal, Maryland from the seven. Out of a shotgun formation. 28 seconds to go. Hill dropping the throw. Fires into the end zone. Pass deflected and incomplete. Beautiful job by Angel Estrada. Breaking it up. Intended for Daryl Whitmer, a senior receiver. And the clock freezes with 24 seconds to go. Second and goal from the seven coming up. We have defenders running around their backfield. We're getting loose on this blitz. But that doggone Hill standing in there and making the throws. He's a horse. 6'3", 221. Big strong kid. Second and goal from the seven. Ball spotted on the left side hash mark. Wide side of the field to the right. That's where Julian Gary and Daryl Whitmer line up. Single receiver to the left. Out of the gun. Snap back to Hill. He's going to run a quarterback draw. He's to the five. He's hit. And he lunges forward. Down inside the three to the two. The clock's still winding. Maryland has one timeout remaining. And they'll use it with 16 seconds to play. The score. Maryland 19. West Virginia 13. Third and goal for Maryland from the two. Terrapins lead by six, 19 to 13. They brought in their big unit with double tight ends. 260 pound fullback James Lynch. Wing to the left, eye formation. Watch the option, third and goal from the two. Wing goes in motion from left to right, back to the left, back to the right, long count. 
They fake the handoff. And the quarterback Hill is dropped by Grant Wiley. The clock keeps winding. It's inside a nine. Maryland scrambling, trying to get another playoff. It's to six. It's to five. Down to four. Maryland trying to get a playoff. It's to two. It's to one. And the clock will expire. Hill going to throw it into the end zone at the end of the half. It is incomplete. The half is over. A tremendous blitz by Grant Wiley sacking the Maryland quarterback, Sean Hill, throwing him for a loss. Maryland out of timeouts frantically trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. Fired the ball into the end zone as time expired. Incomplete halftime has arrived at College Park, Maryland. And Rich Rodriguez and his Mountaineers find themselves down by six. But a huge defensive play with an exclamation point to end our first two quarters of action. Maryland 19, West Virginia 13. Second half ready to begin. Silkovic approaches the football, boots it away. End over end kick. It's a good one. Will not be returned out of the back of the end zone. A touchback. As Sean Terry took a look at it. Sale over his head. So we are underway now in our third quarter, and the West Virginia Mountaineers will take it over from their 20-yard line, trailing in the football game by six points. Total yardage in the first half, West Virginia 225, 123 in the air, 102 on the ground. Maryland 211 yards of total offense. West Virginia 15 first downs, Maryland 14. Mountaineers, though, with two big turnovers. Here we go. First and 10, West Virginia. Three receivers to the right, one to the left, out of the gun. Lone setback is Coburn. Brad Lewis takes the snap. Quick throw, bubble screen, caught by Antonio Brown, and he trips and falls. No gain on the play. Rod Littles was there to make that tackle. It was right there, and Antonio just did not do anything with it and fell down. Second down and 10. This time, two receivers out to each side. Wide side of the field is to the left. Coburn to the left of his quarterback, Brad Lewis. On second down and 10, Zach Dillow snaps it back to Brad Lewis. Lewis steps up in the pocket. He fires over the middle. Pass caught by Antonio, and he is drilled. After making four yards on the reception, Randell Jones buried him into the turf. It'll be third down and six. I think they're probably doing that, Tony, to keep Henderson a little bit more on it. Throw to that middle, but that time they brought the strong safety up in there to help him in that area. Twin receivers to each side, wide side of the field again to the left. Coburn's alone step back to the left of Lewis on third down and six. Lewis takes the snap, dropping back. Blitz comes. Lewis throws, pass caught, and that's a first down as A.J. Nastasi rips it up the far sideline over the 30 and ahead to the 31 yard line. A gain of seven for Nastasi, the junior from Woodbury, Pennsylvania. That is A.J.'s 14th catch of the season. Came into the game leading West Virginia with pass catches. Two twins tight together on each side on first down and 10. Here's the snap back to Brad. Handoff goes to Coburn. Coburn off the right side. He'll pick up, oh, a tough yard or two. Met there by Andrew Henley, a backup weak side linebacker from Riverdale, Maryland. Gain of two on the play. Coburn had 60 rushing yards in the first half. That was his 19th carry of the game there. You're right, Tony. They're really laying the twins up wide, very close together, and forcing them... Um, uh, Maryland to really widen their yeah. defenders. Second down call at seven. Snap back to Lewis and Brad drops. Lewis throws, pass caught. Antonio Brown jukes and jives, takes it ahead over the 40 yard line. Ball comes loose. And they're gonna say Maryland football. They say that Antonio Brown fumbled the football. Brown protesting, saying that he was down on the turf. But the ball will go to Maryland with 13-12 to go here in the third quarter. The third West Virginia turnover of the afternoon. Brown had made the catch, faked left, faked right, went ahead, and the ball came loose. It looked as though his knees were down on the ground. Maryland takes over at the West Virginia 42. I formation, two receivers out to the left, tight end strong to the right. Bruce Perry, the lone, or is the tailback in the setup this time out of that eye. Here's the snap, running option, near side. Sean Hill, broken play. Hill gets away from James Davis, takes it up the field. He's hit hard by Corey McIntyre at the 40-yard line. They'll give him forward progress to the 39, a gain of three on what should have been a loss of yardage. Looks as though the fullback that time, Dwight, left early. Yeah, I thought so, too. They, they, that short motion, they're putting him in, in short motion, but they're not 
believe any uh, full count, I don't think. It looks almost like he's uh, illegal procedure. Two receivers left out of an eye formation set. Call it second down and eight from the West Virginia 40-yard line. Tight end, strong right. Sean Hill, the senior quarterback. Play actions. Drops the throw. Pressure comes. He fires. Pass broken up by Corey McIntyre. Corey blocks that ball intended for Jafar Williams out at the 30. Corey never saw it coming. He had his back to the ball and his face mask toward the intended receiver and hit off of Corey's back. And it goes incomplete. Third down and eight coming up from the West Virginia 40-yard line. Keep possession right here, Tony. If we get a shutdown here. Third down and eight. Two receivers out wide left. And the tight end flexed a bit off the left side. So call it trips to the left. Single receiver Gary to the right. Out of the gun. Snap back to Hill. Hill comes. Pressure backside. And Brian King sets the Maryland quarterback at the 50-yard line. The Damascus, Maryland product, Brian King. Black, spine, black, <laughs> let me get it out of here. Blind side from the backside. Knocks down quarterback Sean Hill. Fourth down coming up. They're going to have to punt. Brooks Bernard will kick it from his 35. Major play. Backside, blind side is what he tried to say. That's easy for you. Yeah, to exactly. All right, here comes the punt from left to right. It will travel. Long count. Snap back to Bernard. No pressure by West Virginia. Angling kick toward the right. No return going to be put on here. It takes a bounce and it gets into that end zone. 50 yards on the punt, but it's a net of 30 because that's a touchback. 19-13, Maryland lead. Let's pause 15 for station identification. West Virginia takes it over, first down and 10 from its 20-yard line. Two receivers out to each side. Brad Lewis takes the snap, takes the handoff to Avon Coburn, rolling to his right. He's got field ahead. Brad going to fire that ball, and it is incomplete. Intended out there for Antonio Brown, Tony O'Conlawan, cornerback on the coverage. I thought Brad might want to hang on to that one and run at that time. He did get around the corner. We were able to break contain some on these guys, and that's encouraging. But we do have to make them pay. Once you get outside, we've got to, got to make sure we turn it in for yardage. Again, West Virginia with twins to each side, but the two receivers on each side are very tight and close together. Second and ten, Lewis. Delay handoff. Goes to Coburn. Here's Avon running off the left side. Breaks the tackle. 25. Up the sideline. 30. Takes it ahead to the 35 to the 36. Knocked out of bounds in front of the Maryland bench. A 17-yard pickup for Avon Coburn. A first down gain. A great block thrown downfield by receiver A.J. Nastasi to break free. Avon Coburn. You kind of get the feeling, Tony, that they want to have those wide receivers so wide so they can open up that draw in the run game inside. Yep, and that's what happened right. that time. First down and 10 from the 37. Again, they go on the ground to Avon, and he's got more room as he takes it over the 40, ahead to the 42. On that last carry, the long one by Avon, he became West Virginia University's second all-time leading ground gainer, passing by Robert Walker and Arthur Owens in the process. He needed 75 yards coming into this game to get to number two. Now we go, second and five from the Mountaineer 42-yard line. Two receivers right. And a single receiver left. Also a tight end in there on the right side. Coburn's alone setback. Lewis gets the snap. Rolling to his right. Has time. Looking downfield. Brad lets it fly. Wide open. Pass caught. Sean Terry to the Maryland 45-yard line. A gain of 13 yards on that play as Sean Terry, the senior from Homestead, Florida, hauls it in. E.J. Henderson, the linebacker, back there. To make that stop. West Virginia in Maryland territory. West Virginia down by six, 19 to 13. McQuell Henderson was in on that last play, the true freshman receiver. Now he exits. Phil Braxton comes in. The Mountaineers with two receivers to each side. Cooper Rigo has checked into the backfield for West Virginia, replacing Coburn. Out of a shotgun formation, first down and 10. Maryland showing blitz. Here it comes. Lewis takes the ball, fires, pass, caught. Antonio Brown wrestled down inside the 35 to the 32-yard line. A 13-yard pickup for the little guy, Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown now with 103 receiving yards this afternoon as West Virginia picks up another first down. Avon Coburn back into the game for the Mountaineers. From the Maryland 33-yard line, it's first and 10. Twins left, single receiver right. Lewis takes the snap. Inside handoff goes to Avon. He's met and dropped at the 35-yard line. A two-yard loss. Charles Hill, senior, 
nose tackle out of Palmer Park, Maryland, makes the hit in the backfield on Avon Coburn. That time they had seven in the box in there, Tony, so that's normally the time we want to be throwing if possible, but uh, they did, uh, they were able to get a seventh guy in there, and it was effective. Second and 12. Here's the shotgun snap back to Lewis. He fires. Pass caught by Sean Terry, and Sean takes it ahead to the 26-yard line, a gain of nine on that play. O'Conlawan on the coverage, crowd booing, saying that Terry never had possession as he went down. But we say that he did, and that's the way it'll stand. Tell you the truth, on the monitor, it did look like he dropped it, but we're not going to tell absolutely anyone. Third down and three. Here's a real big play on this drive. West Virginia down to the Maryland 26. Triple receivers right, single receiver to the left. Out of the gun, Lewis takes the snap, rolling the pocket right, looking downfield, pressure comes, he heaves the ball wide open, Antonio Brown, he dropped it at the five-yard line. He slipped and fell, and his hand got a piece of the ball, but he was unable to make the catch as he took the ball at the five, he slipped and fell. That really was a touchdown right. waiting to happen right there. Really good call and a super route. Antonio ran a great route, Brad did a good job, we have protection up front, all we need is a catch. West Virginia is going to go for it on fourth down and three. This would have been a 43-yard field goal into the win. Instead, they're going to go for it from the Maryland 26. Play clock is at 15. West Virginia, two receivers out to each side. Empty backfield, in fact. Here's Lewis. Takes the snap. Pressure comes. Lewis over the middle. Pass. We should get an interference call. They're going to rule it as an interception by the Terrapins. The intended receiver for West Virginia, Coburn, was collided and hit there by Rod Littles. And Littles made the catch of the football, and they'll rule that as an interception, and the Maryland Terrapins will take it over at their 24-yard line. He was very aggressive. He came toward the ball, and our receiver wasn't quite as aggressive. First and 10, Maryland takes over after West Virginia drives deep in the Maryland territory. From the Terps, 24-yard line. Out of an eye set, Maryland leads 19 to 13. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to Bruce Perry. Perry breaks one tackle and now is spun and knocked down after a three-yard gain. Rick Sherrod applying the hit for the Mountaineers. Perry in the opening half, 64 yards on 10 carries. Second down and six, inside of nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Maryland 19, West Virginia 13. Double tight ends, lone setback is Perry. They like to run the zone out of this, out of the zone. Here's the snap, running option instead. Pitch goes to Perry, West Virginia waiting. Perry there, Perry is hit. Perry takes the ball over the 34, 35, and he's got himself close to a first down and should have the first down on the spot. Seven yards on the pickup as they ran option to the short side of the field. And Perry plunged ahead at the point of the tackle. And it looks like he's got himself a first down. Eight minutes and 30 seconds to play in the third. Maryland began this drive on its 24. They've taken the ball ahead 11 yards on the first two plays. Double tight end formation. Lanker. Gary out to the near side. Sean Hill, the senior quarterback, appears to be changing the play at the line. Perry's the lone setback. Hill, three-step drop, fires, pass. Oh, it's incomplete, intended for Jafar Williams. Brian King sniffing on it. Never had a real good crack at making the interception, but that was never close to the intended receiver. Williams was not close at all. Uh, West Virginia showed blitz, and they went to uh, straight man coverage, what we used to call hot coverage. The quarterback saw it, checked, tried to go to the single receiver in the boundary. Second down and 10, Terps from their 35-yard line. Twin receivers to each side. Lone setback is Perry. Hill under his center, Fowler takes the snap, dropping back deep, dump pass, right flat, blockers out ahead, here's Perry over the 40, Perry keeps his feet, he is hit, and he is smashed at the 44-yard line of the Terrapins, a gain of nine on that play, close to a first down, boy, he had some blocking ahead of him as he caught that ball, and I mean someone of the Mountaineer defense came over there, and I mean laid the lumber, they stood him up, and one of the Mountaineer defenders really gave Perry a whack as he went down. That was that screen pass, and uh, Grant Wiley was kind of out there all by his lonesome. And then we got good pursuit to help. 
That was Upchurch that hit him. Third and a yard. Tight end steps back off the line. Unbalanced formation, strong to the right, out of an eye set. Now they work back over to the left. Here's the snap. Hand off to Perry. Perry has the first down as he plunges over the 45, ahead to the 47. Gain three. He needed a yard for the first down. 7-19 on a stop third quarter clock. Maryland 19, West Virginia 13. We're playing a little bit of a shade defense in there, particularly on that short yardage, Tony, and that's where they're running off to their shade. Maryland has not turned the ball over this afternoon. First and 10 Terps from the 47. West Virginia has three turnovers. Offset eye formation shaded left. Tight end strong right. Receivers to each side. Hill takes the snap. Handing off, and Bruce Perry is hit by James Dirty Davis in the backfield for a two-yard loss. Number one meets number one, and it's a two-yard loss. That'll make it second down and 12. Grant Wiley out there playing for that Mountaineer defense. First action since the BC game. Wiley had a huge play at the end of the first half, stopping a Maryland scoring drive. Second down and 12. Terps, strong formation to the right. Two receivers out to the left. Here's the snap. Pressure comes. Hill is knocked to the turf, and the pass he throws is incomplete. Grant Wiley came on a linebacker blitz, and he buries the quarterback, Hill, of Maryland. Came free. That was a well-designed blitz because he came right through there free, so he was getting help from some of the down guys on that. Goes as an incomplete pass and make it third down and 12. Mountaineers need to make a stop. Cedric Lewis, Mountaineer defender, runs off the field late. West Virginia's got Antoine Lake down there. Timmy Love's in the ball game. Third and 12 from the Maryland 45. They come with a shotgun. Sending two receivers out to the wide side. Single receiver Gary to the near side. Snap is back to Sean Hill. He steps up, firing a deep ball. Has a man, but it is overthrown and incomplete. That was Jafar Williams. Too much. On that one, fourth down, Maryland. They'll have to punt with 6.18 to go in the third quarter. Maryland on top of West Virginia, 19 to 13. The Golden Blue will get the ball back. Keep concentrating, Tony, because we're kind of close to midfield here at the 45, and I'm always nervous when they yep. punt around here. But I think they're going to punt. They've got this good guy. They're still playing field position. He's got big-time wind at his back. West Virginia puts eight up on the line. Brooks Bernard is the punter. Snap comes back, and he does get the ball away. Good kick. Lance Frazier going to let it take a bounce. Watch out here inside the five. Ooh, gets into that end zone. Fortunately, the ball was rolling forward rather than kicking back. And the Mountaineers will have a touchback. They'll start from their 20 after a 55-yard punt. Let's get a score update with Hoppy. Halftime, the Sooners lead K-State 28-14. Also at the half, Northwestern 17, Michigan State 14. Fourth-rated Nebraska has jumped out to a 13-3 lead over Missouri. Purdue and Minnesota tied at 14. Alabama out in front of South Carolina, 23-10 at the half. Virginia Tech leads Central Florida 19-7. Tony? Thanks, Hop. First down and 10, West Virginia from its 20. Mountaineers down by six. Two receivers to each side. From the shotgun, snap back. Lewis, delay handoff, goes to Avon. He's got a hole. Avon over the 25, to the 30. First down, Avon Coburn to the 32, a gain of 12. Nice delay. Brad took a quick little drop as if to throw a three-step drop and instead handed the ball off to Avon. 12 yards on the pickup. West Virginia's own enemy this afternoon has been itself. Four West Virginia turnovers, yet the Mountaineers are down by just six. First and 10 from their 32. Twins to each side. Coburn to the left of his quarterback, Lewis, from a shotgun formation. Zach Dillow snaps it back to Brad. Handoff goes to Avon. Avon... He is going to get mauled at the 31, a loss of one yard. They seem to be kind of having the down people work to the outside, Tony. They're, they're doing that opposite our setback. And then having the linebacker step up, and that's where that Henderson's going to factor. 95 rushing yards for Avon Cobra in this afternoon. Looking for that big run, though. Second and 11 from the Golden Blue 31-yard line. Out of the gun, Twins. Lewis takes the snap, he fires. Phil Braxton breaks away from the tackle. He's got a first down up the far sideline to the 45, to the 46 of West Virginia. 16 yards on the pickup for Phil Braxton, his fourth catch of the afternoon. Braxton, who scored on a touchdown in the opening half, picks up a first down on the catch and run. Brad Lewis passing this afternoon, now 20 of 33 for 194 yards. 
First and 10, West Virginia spot that ball at the 47 of the Mountaineers. Two receivers to each side. Coburn to the left of quarterback Lewis. Brad takes the snap and the delay handoff again. And here's Avon Coburn. He'll pick up a couple of yards to the 49-yard line, a gain of two. E.J. Henderson making the tackle. Avon uh, almost fumbled that one, bobbled the football. Clock inside of five minutes here in the third quarter. And it is a six-point Maryland lead, 19 to 13. Once again, two receivers to each side. Avon Coburn to the left of Brad Lewis. Senior quarterback awaits the snap from Zach Pillow on second and eight. He's got the ball. Fakes the pass. Pressure comes. Brad is sacked way back at the 37-yard line. A.J. Henderson. A 12-yard loss for the Mountaineer offense as Lewis is sacked on second down and eight. It will be third down and 20. I wonder if one of the receivers missed an assignment there, Tony. It looked like he was trying to pump on a hitch-and-go kind of thing, and no one went. All right, it's third and 20. West Virginia needs the Maryland 43-yard line. Triple receivers left. Here's Brad rolling out to his left. Lewis looks. Lewis fires. Wide open. Nastasi can't handle it. Drops the ball at the 37-yard line, fourth down. Well... That was a drive that uh, started to have some momentum and a 12-yard sack of Lewis results in a long third down play. Now fourth down and 20, and Mark Fazolari will come on to punt the ball. Fazolari will stand at his 23-yard line. Maryland loads it up up front. They've got eight down. Here's the snap back. Penalty flag flies. Kicked by Fazolari. Julian Gary makes the catch on the run. Spins from a defender. And Gary breaks free at the 35 to the 40 and ahead to the 42-yard line. But a flag has been thrown on the far sideline. It was a 33-yard punt and a 13-yard return. Adam Lenort made the tackle. We didn't have enough on the line of scrimmage, Tony. One of our wide outs uh, lined up a yard off to need to be on the line. That'll bring West Virginia back on a procedure call, five yards. On the kicking team, penalty is declined. First down, yep. Maryland. They'll decline it. And Maryland will have an excellent starting point from their 42-yard line. 347 to go in the third. Maryland leading West Virginia by six, 19 to 13. 260-pound fullback James Lynch in the backfield, and Maryland will put Bruce Perry at a slot position to the right. They've got two slots. Flex bone formation. Receivers to each side. Here's the snap. And the quarterback, Hill, is hit by Sean Hackett, and he'll have no gain on that play. Sean Hill on the carry. Sean well Hackett. Yep. Ran an option, and Sean waiting on it. Yeah, good job there, Tony. We really had uh, all responsibilities were taken care of, and, and right away, we weren't having to run from uh, free safety anywhere to get to the pitch. Good job. Said no gain. Actually, they'll give him about a yard on that one. Call it second down and nine from the Maryland 43-yard line. Again, flex bone formation. Receivers out to the left and to the right. Sean Hill, the quarterback, this time going to throw. Drops, fires, pass. It is caught by Jafar Williams, and he will be out of bounds at the 49 of West Virginia. Eight yards on that pickup for Jafar Williams, a sophomore receiver out of Philadelphia. And this will leave Maryland looking at third down and very short yardage. Third down and less than a full yard. Mark Riley is the tailback out of an eye set. Double tight end, wing to the left. Very power puck running formation. Wingman comes in motion. Here's the snap. And the handoff to Riley. He is hit. Does not look like he made it. Stop him at the 49-yard line. They're going to bring up fourth down, says the official on the line side. Corey McIntyre with a big play, stopping Mark Riley. It's fourth down. And Ralph Friedgen is going to bring on his punt team with 2.47 to go in the third quarter. That was Corey from the backside, Tony. Great effort on his part, running it down from the backside. All right, watch it here for a potential fake. Fourth down, less than a yard. Brooks Bernard is the punter. Back at his 35. He is going to kick it away. High, spiraling kick. Frazier going to run away from it. It's going to take a hop, and it's heading toward the end zone, and they're going to make the down of that football as a touchback. Did not get it over. He went into the end zone, downfield, 
He went into the end zone, and they will rule that as a touchback. His body went into the end zone. The ball was still on the other side, and official Gene Steratore will make a call. In the end zone, result of the play is a touchback. First down, West Virginia. Touchback. The score, Maryland 19, West Virginia 13. on a second down play, drop back deep to throw, and free safety Randell Jones picked the football off, and Jones came downfield on the return with a caravan of blockers and has brought the ball all the way down to the West Virginia 22-yard line. The fifth turnover of the game by West Virginia has just been committed, and leading by six, 19 to 13, Maryland has the ball, first down and 10 from the Mountaineer 22-yard line. Two receivers to the left, an eye formation for the Turks. Here's the snap, running option. Ball tossed to Bruce Perry. He's got a blocker ahead. Penalty marker comes down as Perry has run out of bounds at the 16, call that the 13-yard line. We're going to get a holding penalty here against Maryland's tight end, Jeff Dugan. So with the momentum now, shifting to Maryland's favor the Terrapins do commit a holding penalty but they've got the ball deep in West Virginia territory just been battling field position Tony holding on the offense 10 yard penalty repeat first down just can't get it corrected we're just constantly battling field position and uh, it just doesn't give you your whole offense to work with Boy, it'd be a huge save if the Mountaineers can hold these guys to a field goal here first down and 19 from the West Virginia 31-yard line. Mountaineers down by six points. Shotgun, snap, handoff, goes to Bruce Perry, running off to the right side, and Perry going to take it over the 30 down to the 28-yard line, a gain of about two on that play for Perry, sophomore from Philadelphia, who for the first time this season was held under 100 yards by halftime. In each of the first three games, he had over 100 yards. Today, he had 64 yards. Second down and 17 for the Terps from the West Virginia 29-yard line, sending two receivers to the left and two receivers to the right. Lone setback is Perry off to the left of the quarterback. Motion up front. Here comes the snap. It's back to Hill. He drops quickly. He fires. Pass is broken up and incomplete intended for Scooter Monroe and Sean Hackett. Applied the hit. Ball was thrown a little bit behind the junior receiver, Scooter Monroe. It'll be third down and 17 for the Terrapins. We brought pressure that time, Tony. He had to get rid of it early, and I think that's the main reason for that, that he did throw it, rushed it, threw it behind him, and it was good for an incompletion. So good job by the defense. Maryland going to bring in their big horse of a fullback, 260-pound James Lynch. They're going to go with a fully loaded shotgun. Two receivers to left, single receiver right. On third down and 17 from the Mountaineer 29-yard line. Hill pointing it out. Snap is back. Here's Hill firing pass. It's caught by Julian Gary. He takes free to the 10 of the 5 end zone touchdown. On third down and 17 from the 29-yard line, Sean Hill hits Julian Gary for a touchdown. Lance Frazier tried to break the pass up. Tried to make the tackle. Gary got away from him and had open field ahead. 25-13, Maryland. They'll go for two. Yeah, we brought pressure that time, Tony, and he was going to go to the single receiver slant, 
thought Lance played it really well. They both had a hold of football, and uh, unfortunately, Maryland ended up with it, looked to me like. Maryland has missed two extra point attempts this afternoon. They're going to try to get those back right now. Leading by 12, they're going to try to take that to 14. Here comes their two-point conversion attempt. They put two receivers wide out right. Two receivers to the left. Ball spotted on the left side. Hash mark parries the lone setback. Hill under center. Monroe goes in motion from right to left. Here's the snap. Hill has plenty of time. Fires in the end zone. Pass is deflected. Two-point conversion attempt. No good. Kyle Caden got his hand on the intended pass in the end zone. Two-point conversion. No good. But Maryland has taken a 12-point lead with 41 seconds to go in the third quarter. It's 25-13. The Shovel Spotlight receiver Phil Braxton checked your local listings for time and station. Kickoff taken by Terry. He's out to the 10 of the 15 to the 20. Here he goes. Sean Terry up the sideline of the 40. To the midfield strike. One man to beat Terry to the 30. Up the sideline. 20 to the 15. 10, 5. End zone. Touchdown. Sean Terry. A 100-yard kickoff return. He did it again. Sean Terry took it up the far sideline, streaking by the West Virginia bench. And the Mountaineers, with 24 seconds to go in the third quarter, hit a touchdown and make it a six-point football game. Sean Terry did it again. He did it last season on two occasions. And a great block downfield. And Sean Terry was off to the races. 100 yards. Brendan Rao now for the extra point attempt. Nastasi the holder snap is down the kick is up it's good and folks we've got ourselves a football game in College Park Maryland 25 West Virginia 20 Sean Terry with a 100 yard kickoff return has brought West Virginia back to within five points with 24 seconds to play in the third quarter. What a turnaround here. Todd James ready to kick the ball off for West Virginia into a win. His kick angling to the left will be fielded by Rich Parson. And Parson takes it from the three. Slips, gets back up at the 10. Parson's running all the way over the left side of the field over the 15. And he'll be stopped short of the 20 to the 19. Lance Frazier made the tackle. So an electrifying return by Terry will now put the Mountaineer defense back onto the field and Maryland will start from its 19 yard line. Sean can't be real happy with the time on that Tony. It was a 17 second 100 yard day. First down and 10. Out of the eye formation set. 14 seconds to go in the quarter. Bruce Perry's the tailback. Two receivers right, one to the left. And they're going to run the handoff to the fullback Killian. He'll take it ahead for a first down to the 35 yard line. Chad Killian, a third string fullback out of Pittsburgh, took the inside handoff on the option and took it ahead. Nine seconds to go in the quarter. Maryland first and 10 from its 34 yard line. Two receivers right. I formation set. And now whistles blow and the clock has come to its conclusion of the third quarter. 25 to 20 is the score after three. Maryland leading West Virginia. Today's game is brought to you by Budweiser, who salutes America's designated drivers. We all make a difference. By Toyota, more choices, better choices. Get the feeling, Toyota. By Coca-Cola, grab an ice cold Coca-Cola and enjoy the game. Life tastes good. By West Virginia's bank, United National Bank. We're united with the Mountaineers. And by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Fourth quarter ready to begin. West Virginia down 25-20. Here's a score update from Hoppy. In the Big East third quarter, Virginia Tech leads Central Florida 26-14. BC out in front of Army 24-7 in the third. It's Syracuse with East Carolina 6-3 in the second. First down and 10 Maryland from their 34-yard line. West Virginia Sean Terry with a 100-yard kickoff return late in the third quarter has brought the Mountaineers back to five. But West Virginia needs to make a stop on first down and 10. Snap. Handoff. Perry. Big hole. There he goes. Perry over the 40. 45 is hit and taken down inside Mountaineer territory to the 48-yard line. 18 yards on the carry for Bruce Perry. Lewis Daniels finally wrestled him down. 
but good blocking up front by Maryland's line with a big hole Perry took it through off the right side he's tough in the open field first down and 10 from the 49 yard line of West Virginia out of the eye set tight end strong left senior quarterback Sean Hill takes the snap again handing off to Perry again he's got a big hole and Perry takes the ball down to the 40 yard line a gain of nine on the play Perry now with 106 rushing yards. That was the unbalanced line that time, Tony. They just brought the tight end over, and uh, so they had everybody to the left, only had two linemen to the right of center. They're, they're just going to challenge us with the run. They're going to make us stop the run right here. Second down and a yard from the West Virginia 40. Could be a free play here on second down and short. Two receivers left. I formation. Hill. Gonna keep it on the ground to Perry. Perry looking for room. He has stood up and driven back. The forward progress will give him a first down as he takes it to the 38 yard line. Grant Wiley applying that hit. Boy, it's great to see Wiley out there. Rich Rodriguez said before the game it would be great if we could get 25 plays out of him. Wiley remains up, but there is an injured Mountaineer defender down on the field. That's the first time this afternoon that trainers from either team have come out. Stops the clock with 13 minutes and 56 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. Maryland has the ball down to the West Virginia 37-yard line. They've got a first down and 10 coming up. Right now, let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. Lewis Daniels is the injured Mountaineer football player. Working on his right arm. Coach Rich Rodriguez looking on from the far sideline as the Mountaineer training tandem of John Spiker and Dave Kearns take a look. 25 to 20 is our score. Maryland has the lead by five points. Sean Terry with a 100-yard kickoff return in the final minute of the third quarter. And brought West Virginia back to within five, but... The Terrapins now on the march have the ball down to the West Virginia 37-yard line as Lou gets up and walks off under his own power. Bruce Perry, Maryland's talented tailback, with four consecutive 100-yard games now. First back to do that at Maryland since Charlie Wysocki. Charlie. High formation. First down and 10 from the Mountaineer 37. Twins left. Here's the snap. Hill, the quarterback, going to keep. And he's going to make a late toss. It goes to Perry. Here comes Perry. He breaks loose over the 25. And he's down to the 21-yard line. 17-yard pickup. A very, very late toss by the quarterback, Hill, who was going down. And he had the presence to get that ball over to Bruce Perry. I mean, he was on his way down. And Perry picks up the yardage down to the 21. Real, real gamble there, Tony. Could have been a mistake and a big one for us. Maryland's yet to make a mistake today. Not one turnover. First and 10 from the 21-yard line. Out of the eye. Hand off to Perry. Running off the left side. This time he'll go nowhere. A one-yard loss. Guess who? Grant Wiley. Rick Sherrod. There to make that tackle. One of the few times that Perry has been stopped behind the line this afternoon. 13 minutes to play here in College Park. Mountaineers lead, or I should say trail by five. It's the Terrapins leading 25 to 20. They send two receivers to the right, single receiver out to the left. Here's Hill dropping back to throw. Pass, right flat, caught by Perry. He's to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, inside the five, and he will be stopped just shy of the goal line. Knocked out on the far sideline by Richard Bryant. Screen pass to the field to Twins that time, Tony. We really just didn't have anybody out there. Beautifully set up. And Bruce Perry had a caravan of blockers led there by his right tackle, Matt Crawford. It is first and goal for the Terps. The ball down at the two-yard line. Early on in this fourth quarter, Maryland trying to build on a five-point advantage. High formation, wingman left, goes in motion. Now returns. Snap. Handoff goes to Mark Riley, and Riley will be stopped short of the goal line. He'll pick up a yard. It'll be second and goal from the one. Sherrod and Bryant there to wrap up 
senior running back Mark Riley who scored a touchdown in the opening half. Second and goal inside the one yard line. Could even get a quarterback sneak here. I formation wing left quarterback sneak it is no signal from the officials now they do touchdown touchdown Maryland quarterback plunge by Sean Hill and Maryland answers right back after West Virginia's Terry had gone for the 100 yard kickoff return and the Terps take an 11 point advantage with 12 11 on the clock our defense has played an awful lot here the second half Tony Nick Novak on for the extra point attempt. He missed one earlier. In all, Maryland has missed two extra points this afternoon. Novak ready. Kicks the ball ahead, and it is good. Maryland leads by 12. 12, 11 to play. It's 32, 20. B. Dad Silkovic ready to kick the ball off. Sean Terry back deep to return. Ball is going to be directed toward Mike Page. He'll make the catch at the 12. He's at the 15 to the 20. Page over the 25 ahead to the 31 yard line. Do you think that Maryland got the idea not to kick the ball to Sean Terry? <laughs> well, you know, the one thing about that return, Tony, uh, that Sean ran back, it was really well blocked up front. Got him a good crease in there. And he hit it at full stride, made a nice little turn to the outside, and he was gone. Well, the Mountaineer offense has work to do. They're down by 12. They have committed five turnovers. That's been the story of this game. First and 10, West Virginia from the 31. Out of the gun, Brad Lewis takes the snap. Three-step drop, fires over the middle. Pass caught by A.J. Nastasi, close to a first down. And over the 40-yard line. And Nastasi is tackled there by linebacker E.J. Henderson. Nine yards on the pickup. Sean Swindall checks in that receiver, replacing Sean Terry. Second down and one. Quick play. West Virginia quarterback sneak, but we've got a flag down as Brad Lewis took the pile ahead for a first down, but they're going to say that Sean Swindall committed motion before the snap. All right, to the snap. Ball start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains second down. He was not set. Fourth penalty of the game, West Virginia for 40 yards. So that'll make it second down and six for the Mountaineers from their own 35-yard line. West Virginia down by an even dozen, 32 to 20. Two receivers out to each side. From the shotgun, Coburn's alone set back to the right of Lewis. Snap comes back to Lewis. Lewis fires, and the pass is caught by Phil Braxton, and Braxton has a first down as he carries tacklers with him ahead to the 40. Eight yard line, a 14 yard pickup for Phil Braxton, tackled by Denard Wilson. Getting a little bit of their own medicine right back, Tony, by working the single receiver into the boundary there and just on a quick throw, nice short drop. First down and 10 Mountaineers from the 49 yard line. Twins to each side. Brad Lewis ties up his shoe, now ready to go back to work. Snap is back from Zach Dillow. Lewis looks. Lewis has time. He fires. Pass is intercepted. At the 26-yard line, hauled in by Tony O'Connor. The sixth turnover of the game. The fourth interception thrown by Brad Lewis. And Maryland takes it with 11-11 to play, leading by 12 points. Well, we got to get our defense fired up here, Tony, because that's... Uh those are tough to take after you've uh, spent a lot of time on the field defensively anyway and then come right back with a real quick interception. West Virginia has committed five turnovers in its last seven possessions. And the only team you can beat when you do that is yourself. 32-20, high formation, twins out to the left, first and 10 Maryland from its 27-yard line, handoff goes to Perry, Perry jukes and jives and will be stopped. Maybe a yard on that play. James Davis had Perry stood up, and Angel Estrada came up like he was getting ready to get on a horse and jumped up on top of that saddle. Give him a yard. They're going to make a stop to run here, I think, Tony. They may do a little play action or something if they needed to move the chains, but they're going to try to eat clock. They're thinking about driving this thing. They're going to try to keep it on the ground if we allow them. They did last time, Dwight. Eight runs and one pass in their last possession. They went nine plays and 81 yards. 
Second down and call it 10. Two receivers out to the right, back split wide. Here's Hill dropping back to throw. He steps up in the pocket, pressure comes. Hill hit, and he is sacked at the 25-yard line. That is Antoine Lake, the senior from Cambridge, Maryland. Call it a two-yard loss. And it'll bring up third down and 12. Pocket pass, trying to work the under coverage. They were looking at some control passing there, which I really didn't expect. I thought they'd probably keep yeah. it on the ground. There. Second sack of the season, Dwight, for Antoine Lake. Good effort on his part. He had to chase him down from behind. Clock inside of 10 minutes to go in this game, and we're going to get a whistle and a timeout taken. Nine minutes and 53 seconds to play in the fourth. Maryland 32, West Virginia 20. Third down and 12 for the Terrapins from their own 25-yard line with a shotgun formation. The snap is back to the senior quarterback, Hill. He drops, he fires, and the pass is broken up nicely by Lou Daniels at the Maryland 37-yard line. That'll stop the clock at 9.48 to go. And the Terrapins will have to punt. Maryland leads West Virginia by a score of 32 to 20, 12-point advantage. Nice break up there. Again, they're trying to work back to the single receiver side, isolate, try to make it so you can't get any help back to him. Well played. Brooks Bernard is on to punt. Stands back at the Terrapin, 10-yard line. Lance Frazier to return. He's back at the West Virginia 32. Snap comes back, and the kick is away. Driving, kick, spiraling. Frazier going to watch it, take a bounce out of bounds. No return. And the official will run the ball ahead down the sideline to the 35-yard line. It was a 40-yard punt. That was Brooks Bernard's eighth punt of the game. And in short, in case you're joining us in midstream here, the story of the game, turnovers. Six turnovers by West Virginia. All started on the opening possession of the game, a turnover, an interception in the end zone as West Virginia was going in to score. Now first and ten for the Mountaineers from their own 35-yard line. Still have time, down by 12, need to score. Out of the gun with two receivers to each side. Lewis, the lay handoff goes to Coburn. Avon breaks a tackle. Avon takes it to the left, to the 45, Avon to the 50. Avon to the Maryland 45 with a stiff arm, keeps his feet, and he will take the ball down to the 42-yard line. Great run by Coburn, a 23-yard pickup. As Avon goes over the 100-yard mark for the game, O'Conlawan and Randell Jones finally wrestled him down. That's an effective play for the Mountaineers here this afternoon. Delay handoff out of the shotgun. Also got some good uh, perimeter blocking there, Tony. Guys were working downfield. First and 10 from the Maryland 42-yard line from the gun. Lewis drops. Lewis throws. Pass caught. A.J. Nastasi. And Nastasi is wrestled down at the point of the reception at the 36-yard line. A gain of six on that play. Mountaineer is ready to go again. Over the football goes center, Zach Dillow. Maryland, a couple of late substitutions. Second down and four. Mountaineers down by 12 points. Need to get on the board. Two receivers flanked to each side. And a lone setback to the right of Lewis is Avon Coburn. And second down and four. Lewis has the ball. Lewis looks. He fires. Pass caught. First down to Phil Braxton. Down to the Maryland 24-yard line. A 12-yard pickup on that play. Jerome Cox, the cornerback, got beat as Phil ran a slant toward the inside. Starting to pick it up a little bit tempo-wise. Again, it's been West Virginia, which has stopped itself this afternoon, rather than Maryland stopping the Mountaineers. Inside the 25, we're thinking red zone offense and red zone defense now. First and 10 from the Maryland 24. Here comes the pressure, and the handoff goes to Avon. Backside pressure coming, and Avon takes off the left side. He'll pick up, oh, about three on that play. C.J. Feldheim and E.J. Henderson credited with that tackle. Henderson's got some speed for a big guy, doesn't yes, he? Does. I'll tell you, he came through to the backside and ran him down. He's 6'2", 243 pounds, just a junior. Second down and eight. West Virginia has the ball down to the Maryland 22-yard line. Eight minutes and 15 seconds on a turning fourth quarter clock. Mountaineers down by 12. Shotgun snap back to Lewis. Lewis looks. He fires. Pass is broken up. Tipped there by Tony Jackson, intended for Antonio Brown, down at the 10. It'll be third down and eight coming up. And this is uh, obviously you're going to go for two here. Two plays is what I'm talking about. That was a, a blitz that time. They came up in press coverage, and uh, he was trying to get a runner to uh, An Antonio Brown. Wide side to the right. West Virginia's got two receivers there. They've got two receivers to the short side as well. Coburn is the setback to the right of his quarterback, Lewis. Third and eight from the Maryland, 22. 
snap comes back brad drops to throw has brown pass is caught by antonio and brown will be at the 15 yard line just a bit short of the first down he gained about seven and a half need eight tony jackson made that tackle west virginia over the football ready to go for it on fourth down and less than a yard 750 and counting here in the fourth quarter late subs are going to come on now west virginia is going to bring in two tight ends lewis ready staggered eye formation here's the snap handoff and plunging ahead going to be close on the carry they're going to pile it up and it does not look like it's going to be a great spot does not look like they've made it but we've got to wait until they unpile that was coburn on the carry no no way Mm -mm. Unless that marker on the far side isn't properly positioned, it does not appear as though West Virginia has it. West Virginia came on, and they uh, put their double tight ends in there, and they ran the tall, staggered eye, full house, off the right side. They're going to stretch the chains out here, and they did not get it. Ball goes over on downs to Maryland with 7.36 left. That's a huge one there. That's a real big one right there. You know, I thought Antonio made a good effort on his reach. I really thought we did not get a very good spot on Antonio's. And uh, then, of course, that last one you couldn't tell. It's just a pile of bodies, so you had no idea. That was huge. West Virginia down by 12, needed the seven points there. Now Maryland takes over. First and 10 from its own 15. Maryland has not had a turnover this afternoon. Couldn't come at a better time if they had one right now. Perry's the lone setback. Here's the snap. Three-step drop. He pump fakes, and the pass is broken up and incomplete. It's deflected nicely there by Corey McIntyre, intended for the tight end, Matt Murphy. Stops the clock, 7.32. Second down and 10 coming up. That was kind of a shocker there. They, uh, we were bringing some heat, and they kind of caught us in the blitz, didn't they? Maryland 32, West Virginia 20. Second and 10 from the 15-yard line of the Turks. Perry remains as the lone setback, double tight end formation with a receiver out to each side. Senior quarterback Sean Hill running option to the near side. Late toss goes to Perry. Perry is met there, and he'll gain a yard up to the 16. Corey McIntyre making that hit. But that keeps the clock winding. West Virginia does have all three of its timeouts remaining. The Golden Blue down by 12 points. Six turnovers, the story in this football game. Six zip when it comes to turnovers. Maryland not with one. West Virginia with a half a dozen. Rich Parson is a receiver. He'll line up in the slot to the right. Maryland with a shotgun formation on third down and nine. Three receivers right. One out to the left. Here's the snap back to the quarterback hill. Taking a deep, deep drop. He looks. He's firing for the home run downfield. A pass is incomplete. Looking for Scooter Monroe, way downfield of the Mountaineer 37-yard line. Incomplete it goes. He overthrew. Fourth down with 6.47 to play. Merrill will have to punt. So Brooks Bernard, who has already punted eight times today, will come on to kick. Averaging 45 yards of boot. The wind is not as significant as it had been earlier. Stands back at his one-yard line. Mountaineers load up the front. Bernard takes the snap, and the kick is away. Spiraling kick. Frazier going to make the catch and return from the 40. Lance to the 45. Frazier running left is hit from behind and dropped at the 47-yard line. 44 yards on the punt, 7 yards on the return. West Virginia takes the ball back with 6 minutes and 36 seconds to go. They're down by 12 points. 32 to 20 is the score. West Virginia still not out of it. Still not out of it. No, not at all, Tony. We've still got over six minutes. We're going to have to get one quick score somehow, somewhere. But uh, we got time here to take our stay with our offense and keep going. If you can get a quick one, some way, somehow, uh, then you can just try to play defense and get the ball back. Obviously, it's not looking good right now, but you got to get it going. But this is our best starting point of the day, so yep. from our 47. First down and 10. Out of the gun. Twins to each side. Lewis drops the throw. Lewis looks. Fires near sideline. Pass caught by Sean Terry at the 49-yard line. Wrestled out of bounds. Gain of four on that play. Tony O'Conlawan, the senior out of Forestville, Maryland, was there on the spot as Sean made the reception. West Virginia over the football. Zach Dillow, the junior from Smithfield, Pennsylvania, is the Mountaineer center. 
On second down and six from the 49 of the Terrapins. Twins to each side. Lewis, the lay handoff again to Avon Coburn. Up the middle he goes. Avon spins down to the 45-yard line. A gain of four. West Virginia will look at third and two. E.J. Henderson, who's had 483 tackles this afternoon, <laughs> makes the stop. <laughs> that developed really well. Uh, defensive line of Maryland is starting to take sides on pass rush, so those draws are looking awfully good. Third down and two yards from the Turk 45. Two receivers to each side. Out of the gun, Lewis. Three-step drop, pass caught. A.J. Nastasi, first down to the Maryland 39-yard line. A six-yard pickup for A.J. Nastasi. That'll stop the clock momentarily as they move the chains. 5.34 to go in the fourth quarter. Good job, West Virginia down 12. Good job there by everybody. That was a blitz, and we were able to get the ball the inside slant route. Terry and Brown, receivers near side. Braxton, Nastasi wide out to the left. Coburn's the lone setback. From the gun once again. First down and 10. Brad Lewis has the ball. Fakes one pass. Now he's going to fire a deep ball for Phil Braxton. And Braxton leaps up. Hit Braxton! Inside the 10. Cannot hold on. Incomplete. He got his hands on it. Tried to come back and make the catch. And it goes incomplete inside the 10-yard line. It'll be second down and 10. Tony O'Conlawan beaten by a step that time by Phil Braxton. But Phil just could not bring it down. I think like he had it, didn't it, there momentarily. Hmm. Didn't look like an arm. Didn't look like an arm that had thrown the ball 44 times today. Nope. Second and 10, Mountaineers from the Maryland 39. West Virginia down 32 to 20. 5.18 to go in the fourth quarter. Same formation, twins to each side. Snap back to Lewis. Lewis looks, Lewis fires, pass caught. Phil Braxton, that's a West Virginia first down to the 28-yard line of the Terrapins. And 11 yards on the pickup. Bill Braxton starting to get into a flow here. He's got 73 yards this afternoon on seven catches. So 10 times every time he's catched the ball, caught the ball. First down 10, West Virginia down by a dozen. 5.08 and counting. Rich Rodriguez's squad needs the touchdown badly. Twins to each side. Here's Lewis firing again. Nastasi breaks free. Nastasi inside the 20. First down to the 18. The 11 on the pickup, E.J. Henderson. They'll spot him at the 17-yard line. That freezes the clock as they move the chains once again with 4.58 to play in this fourth quarter. Heads up that time. Uh, that was an uncovered receiver. They tried to gang up inside, and good job by Brad just picking up and hitting Nastasi. Good job by Nastasi. Two receivers left, two to the right. From the gun again, Lewis takes the snap. The lay handoff goes to Coburn. Here's Avon. Avon hit at the 15-yard line. Two-yard pickup, E.J. Henderson, again on that stop. Got a tired defense out there, Tony, right now, and they're not reacting like Avon would like them to on the draw. <laughs> Need to roll the pocket out here, Dwight, and throw into that end zone. Second down and eight coming up. Four minutes and 25 seconds and winding in the fourth. Twin receivers to each side. Coburn remains alone, setback. Lewis awaits the snap. He's got the ball. He looks left. He fires. Braxton can't hold on at the five. It's incomplete. It was there to be caught. Great pass by Lewis. Braxton couldn't hold it. Denard Wilson, the corner, had blown the coverage, and Phil Braxton could not hold on to that football. That would have been a near score, I think, Tony, if he just hangs on yep. right there. I, I think he thought that, too, was going to try to get in and didn't, just didn't get the ball secured. May have just been a hair behind him. 90th play for West Virginia's offense coming up. It's third down and eight from the Maryland 15-yard line. 4.14 to go in the game. West Virginia down by 12. Snap back to Brad Lewis. He drops. He looks. Has time. Pressure comes. Lewis is going to run with it. Brad to the 15. Brad to the 10. Out of bounds. He is hit. With 4.07 to go, he is short of that first down. He only picked up a yard. It'll be fourth down and seven for West Virginia. Actually, will be fourth and five for West Virginia. They're going to put Brad down at the 12. Mountaineers need the Maryland seven. Maryland held West Virginia on downs on the last Mountaineer possession. Fourth down and five from the Maryland 12. Here we go. Twins to each side from the shotgun. Snap is back to Lewis. Pressure comes. Pass is thrown. It is caught by Avon Coburn, and he trips ahead. Should be close to that first down. What a terrible spot, Tony. Oh, my goodness. Inside the 10. He's down to about the 7.5. This is going to require the chains to come out. 
looked as though the official really made a bad spot in Rich Rodriguez so frustrated over on the far sideline. That's the second big play in a row this guy's done that. Chains come over. 4.02 to go in the fourth quarter. If West Virginia doesn't get it, Maryland will take the ball over on downs. Here's the stretch of the chain. They did not get it. Did not make it by a full half yard. I'd say that about a two yard miss on the spot. Look to me like I hate to complain. Don't even. That, was, that has a terrible spot. He moved it back ten, two yards from where Avon came down, I thought, from up here. What a frustrating afternoon this That's has tough. become for West Virginia's offense. They have driven at times and come up empty. And they turn the ball over six times. 4.02 to go. Maryland takes the ball over with a 12-point advantage from an eye formation. They load up the formation strong left, unbalanced to the right. Now the tight end goes over in motion to the right. Here's the snap, and the handoff to Bruce Perry, and Rich Sherrod is the man to beat, but Perry breaks free. Perry to the 20, and he is hit and dragged down, but not before he picks up a first down. Over the 24 to the 25, ahead over the 25-yard line between the 25 and the 26 for Bruce Perry. That's that bounce play where he starts inside and bounces outside. He's got the speed, and we're doing a good job plugging up that off tackle hole. We've got a plug. We just can't get off those blocks and, and chase him down the, on the perimeter. First down, Maryland. They're going to milk this clock now. 340 in counting. The Terrapins lead by 12, 32 to 20. Tight end, changes strength over to the right. Unbalanced to the left. High formation. Now that wingman comes in motion to the left. Here's the snap. Hand off to Perry, hit by Angel Estrada and David Upchurch. Vicious hit, no gain on that play, and West Virginia will use a timeout with 3.25 to go. We'll take it with them. Maryland 32, West Virginia 20. West Virginia without the football now. 3.25 to go, trailing by 12, 32-20. Maryland out over the football. Second and nine from their 26. High formation. Tight ends to each side and a single receiver. Now the tight end reverses the strength over to the right. Unbalanced, strong to the left. Now that wingman comes in motion from right to left. Here's the snap. And the handoff goes to Bruce Perry, and he'll be stopped for a loss on that play. Two-yard loss. Angel Estrada makes the tackle, and West Virginia will take another timeout with three minutes and 15 seconds to go. Maryland leading 32-20 to 20 with a timeout. Third down and 11 for Maryland from its 24-yard line, and the snap running option. Quarterback pitches the ball to Bruce Perry, and Kyle Caden wrestles Perry out of bounds on the far sideline. It'll be fourth down in West Virginia. We'll have a crack back at the football with 3.09 to go in this game, down by 12 points, 32 to 20. Maryland leading. West Virginia will line up to return a punt. We've had 171 offensive plays this afternoon. West Virginia has run 91 plays. Mountaineers have amassed 436 yards of total offense, but six turnovers have just done them in. Bernard ready to punt. Tenth time today. Snap is back. The kick is away. Spiraling kick. Lance Frazier angling to his right. And the ball is going to take a hop and goes out of bounds. And it will be blown down at the 26-yard line. So West Virginia... We'll have a long field to work here. First and 10 from its 26-yard line with exactly three minutes to go. You just want a chance here just to get a score and try your onside kick. Sure. That's all you can ask for at this point, down by a dozen. There's time for that, and we really can't get too far away from too far away from our offense right now, Tony, because we do want to move the ball. We want to get down there, secure that, and any gambling we'd like to do on the next possession. Right. We have to. John doesn't, Terry. Doesn't mean we can't throw deep here. Sure. Here. John Terry wide left, Antonio Brown slot left, two receivers to the right as well. It's an empty backfield on first down and 10. Lewis drops, Lewis throws, pass caught, Avon Coburn, he's drilled. After a three-yard gain at the 29-yard line, he was hit, and he was hit hard by backup strong safety Rod Littles. They have some extra defensive backs in the game now, Tony. They're playing nickel. Got a lot of defensive back. Flag it? down, second and seven. Pass thrown, pass caught. Phil Braxton has a first down, but a flag is down on the play. 
as the ball was thrown ahead to the 37 yard line and the signal from our official Gene Steratore indicates that the penalty will be against West Virginia illegal motion illegal shift so that'll negate a first down reception from Lewis to Braxton it looked as though Sean Terry was not set prior to the snap that'll bring the ball to the 24 yard line of West Virginia second down and 12 237 to go in the game Maryland leads 32 to 20 twins out to each side snap back to Brad Brad steps up pressure comes he evades the pressure rolling to his right looking downfield wide open Antonio Brown and Brown can't make the catch at the 42 yard line Antonio Brown slipping and cannot make the reception wide open downfield that time Brad uh, there's a three man rush and he did have to move out around the pocket he, he did flush outside the pocket and then tried to make the throw to the hole uh, where Antonio was but Antonio needed to come back to the ball slightly so he didn't overthrow it for the for the free to get the pick give him some cleats third down and 12 West Virginia shotgun snap back to Brad pressure comes they got him down he goes sacks 10 yard loss back to the 15 he goes they came Charles Hill to nose tackle his second sack of the afternoon 2 11 and counting fourth down and 21 facing West Virginia need to get the ball to the 36 yard line West Virginia is going to go for it here two receivers out to each side out of the shotgun on fourth down Lewis looks Lewis fires for Braxton Phil cannot come up with it out of bounds on the far sideline and Maryland will take the ball over on downs with one minute and 47 seconds to go the Terrapins have this game in control leading by 12 they'll take the ball from the 15 yard line of West Virginia Phil Braxton remains down after going up to catch that last pass right in front of the West Virginia bench on the Mountaineer sideline remains down on his back and is being attended to so with 147 to go Maryland leading by 12 is about to go to four and oh let's get a score update right now with hoppy kirchner tony one final in ohio state has defeated indiana 27 14 the final Derek russ couple of touchdown runs for the buckeyes and the buckeyes move to two and one pretty good game as predicted between oklahoma and K kansas state it's oklahoma 35 kansas state 27 they are late in the third quarter northwestern leads michigan state 17 14 still time remaining in the fourth nebraska out in front of missouri 16 to 3 in the third Minnesota 21 Purdue 17 fourth quarter action there and it's Alabama out in front of South Carolina 29 to 17 they are in the third in the Big East this afternoon Virginia Tech's going to come in undefeated next week they lead Central Florida 46 14 in the fourth BC will beat Army today 31 to 10 BC will move to 3 and 1 Army 0 and 3 and at halftime Syracuse has a 20 to 10 lead over East Carolina Troy Noons Tony three touchdown passes so far today and here at College Park, Ralph Friedgen about to become the first rookie Maryland head coach to win four in a row at the outset of the season. First down and 10 Maryland, 147 left from the Mountaineer 15-yard line. Double tight ends, receivers out to each side. The lone setback is Bruce Perry. And the quarterback Hill hands off to Perry, and Perry running off to the right side is going to be stood up and brought down by Corey McIntyre. That'll keep the clock ticking. He did not get out of bounds. Didn't want to get out of bounds. 137 and counting. And there is stoppage of play as West Virginia is going to use a timeout. And that'll be the last West Virginia timeout. 137 left. And Rich Rodriguez and the Mountaineers are going to fall to 2-2. Two and two. And this is a just one of those games, Dwight, that just keeps... Uh, bubbling in your stomach for a long time after it's over because it was you it was you that made the mistakes yeah. that cost the loss well you live with these you can't these are what they wake you up in the middle of the night and you worry about uh, why because you're so close 
there was a game plan here that was a good game plan. I mean, offensively it was there, defensively it was there. Several changes in momentum, and the guys kept slugging it out. They hung in there, but uh, uh, boy, you just have to execute. You can't, you just can't give a team like this that good a field position. Much of it they got through the uh, turnovers, and you just can't give them that many opportunities to turn the ball over. When we get down there, we've got to cash in. We could easily have two more scores up there because we were down there to collect them. Exactly. Maryland ready. Second down and eight from the Mountaineer 13-yard line. Out of the eye. They hand the ball off to Perry, and Perry is going to be hit by Lewis Daniels and dropped there. Maybe a yard on that carry for Bruce Perry. Six turnovers by West Virginia. Story in this football game, four interceptions and two fumbles. 150 rushing yards this afternoon for Maryland. Running back Bruce Perry, who averages 175 per game. Avon Coburn also over the 100-yard mark for the third consecutive game. It's third down and seven Terrapins. 57 seconds and counting in the game. Here out of the eye, the handoff to Perry, and Perry meets Rick Sherrod, and Sherrod knocks him down hard to the turf, along with some help from Sean Hackett. And it'll be fourth down, and now 42 seconds, and winding. West Virginia will have to regroup quickly as the Virginia Tech Hokies come to Mountaineer Field next Saturday afternoon, a high noon kickoff. We'll be on the air, MSN, at 11.30. So they're going to just drain the clock down here. The Terps are. It's down to 17 and winding. Play clock is down to 8. So they can get this thing all the way down to 6 seconds on the game clock. As they drain it out. And the Terps are going to enjoy themselves a fourth consecutive victory. 95 offensive plays. Rich Rodriguez's staff ran here this afternoon. Yeah, that's the kind of, that's the opportunity that you had a lot of opportunities to win this game, and that's what frustrates you. You got, you got to run the plays, you had your time of possession, you did a lot of things you want to do with the offense, but you just didn't close it, you didn't cash yep. it in. Fourth down and 13, Maryland's quarterback, Sean Hill, under his center, hands the ball off to Bruce Perry, and Perry is going to be stopped short, and that... Will do it. The ball game is over here at Bird Stadium on the campus of the University of Maryland, and the Terrapins celebrate a 32 to 20 victory over West Virginia on an afternoon in which the Terrapins took advantage of West Virginia's six turnovers and in the same time did not commit a single turnover themselves. Final score Maryland 32 and West Virginia 20.